came on Twitch. It worked. Hi, hey, everybody. Hey, We're hello. Hello. We're going to have to catch Potential up. Potential Twitch viewers. <laughs> you missed so much. Yeah, honestly, yeah. You missed Azrael's weird little panic attack. It was awkward to look at. <laughs> Good job. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I, anyway. I, I, uh, good job with the, the dogs. That, uh, good work. But, uh, back in the hut, what, what were you doing in the corner? I saw you just staring out into nothingness. Um, like when we were fighting those dolls? No. Back. Or like just barely? <laughs> Uh, no, back with the kids. You were just standing in the corner. It's a it's a really long story, um, and not one that would be well told in this right now. But maybe one for another day. Well, if it makes you feel better, be ghost too. If that makes it any better for you, I'm always here if you want to talk. Now walk away. Thank you. I just go help a kid or whatever. Just go talk to a kid. Yeah, I mean, unless you're just going to the kids, I mean, they sort of react. Again, it's kind of very similar stuff. Let's try something new. Yeah. Um, just trying to make some kids feel better. Sure, 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 sure. Um, spend that time. So what is everyone want to do next? Um, let's see. Definitely leave this place. Do this. Yeah, I, yeah, I think we got to get the kids place. home. But we got to weigh that send... against letting the trail go cold. We, need, we don't have our boat. Let's, um, let's try to find something around. Let's see if it's not destroyed. Something buoyant that we can use. Maybe so guys, there's a chance to go to the beach. Yeah, while well, I'm looking around, can I just see any? Combine our investigative powers. Any boat? Any yeah, boat? Gonna, We're in a village on the way that. back. Can we just? Okay, so up? are you are you trying to go back to the village where you landed? Then look around. Yeah. What we're doing. I okay. believe that's so. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so I'll say that. Um, let's go ahead and make a group investigation check. I'll be on the front end of the rope. Leading the kids. Well, solid. 19. I got like. Two worst looking kids on Buddy with me. <laughs> that's and that's an 11 for Calvin. Roscoe's pretty smart. Ooh, that's a nat 20. People. <laughs> Ooh. For 24. That's an 8. I should have guidance myself, but whatever. Told you, man. I got a fucking little. <laughs> <laughs> got the whole magnifying right. glass. <laughs> <laughs> so got, uh, 24, was... nat 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I say with that 20. Um, yeah, you guys go around. Um, what should pick up a few things? One is that the effect that was causing the waves to go in the wrong direction when you arrived has has ended. Everything is coming in normal. The the lakes be um, behaving like you'd expect it to behave. Um, and you do kind of pick up though that 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 effect any boats that were left uh, um how long ever that effect was going it's been pushed out um so uh, along with your boat is as it, that effect did last like in the hour in which uh you were um resting so it, at least it was was keeping it away but what you do find is you go a little ways um and i'll say that you're able to find three boats that can carry about eight each. Um, that's this further down the shore, maybe like 300 feet. And how far is the boat, how far is the distance from the shore to the water village place? Um, it was a, it was about two miles that you guys had to row it out. Um, to the, it's probably, it was more, it was longer than that. So it was, a, it, was a, it was about a four, I know it was about a four hour row. Is, is what you'll, you'll know about what it was. And how many kids do we have? I think exactly 24. Yeah. Yeah, Something mm -hmm. like that. So they're going to have to paddle themselves. Oh, doesn't sound that great. Oh, it does not sound that great. <laughs> I'll, I'll paddle on one of the boats with... Um, I'd say our three strongest... Me and Roscoe should definitely boat. split boats. 100%. Three boats, right? Uh, yeah, three boats. All right, so... 
So we, we just, one on each boat and they each take seven kids with them and then come back for the re- remainder. I'm not, I'm not sending Aaliyah off without me. Yeah. I don't know if sending, I don't know about leaving. Who are we going to leave behind to defend the yeah. kids if something I would happens? Say these, these, this is eight adults, so you could probably fit. If and you think, like, 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 there's me to, to, to well, I don't want the horse, but you <laughs> definitely, you, you know, that it was made to hold eight adults and the weight buoyancy would work for that. So that you have kids, if you overloaded a bit, you'd probably be okay. But okay. Uh, depending Alanthor. on how exactly you did that, Alanthor, yeah. the horse stays. No, <laughs> Alanthor, I know you have a bond with this horse, but it's not <laughs> worth sinking. Okay, how about I, I volunteer to babysit your horse then? You're going to stay here by yourself? And I mean, try to get a rest in? Yeah. You go back to have somebody up. stay with you. Yeah. I only need four hours, if anyone, but if anyone wants to. Yeah, I also need four hours as well, but I'm all fine. So if you want to rest, I'll just be here with you. I'm not leaving my horse behind. Um, I'm going to stay with Alanthor and Talvin. Um, I because first of all, I like that horse. Second of all, I'm sleepy, <laughs> I need a rest. <laughs> all right, is everyone yeah, else okay horses. with? Yeah, and you guys will be able to keep watch because we're going to be gone at least eight hours, rowing four hours each way. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that yeah. works. Yeah, okay, smart. We're doing. Okay, so who's staying behind? Show of hands. Okay. Okay, so Talvin, Lanthor, and Skaha. All right. Um, so real quick, the three of you make a quick perception check for me. Fifteen. Right. Yeah, that's fifteen. Give me a second here. I cast guidance on myself real quick. Where's the sun at right now? Like, does it look like it's almost done? Does it look like it's no. It's I mean it's probably late afternoon at this point. All right. Wow, I'm really bad at Like you'll probably get there just as the sun sets by the time you guys get there. It's eleven for Talvin. Okay, and then Scott, that was eighteen. I think I saw. Is that true? Yep. Is that correct? Okay. That was me. So Scott, um, what Scott notices. Is that she's watching the boats uh, kind of kind of move away um, on the boat that has uh, Razga on it. Um, just as the water's kind of cresting, you see a tiny humanoid shape grasping the bottom of the boat. Uh, oh! Oh shit! Guys! 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 <laughs> oh. I try. I go. Crossbow. Over the shore and yell Ready, no, at Razga. Razga! Razga! How far are we from them? Um, I would say at this point, you're just about 20 feet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Crossbow. Oh, yeah. That's close oh, enough. Just <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're, we'll do this because because I'd say it's um, there's no intent on this thing right now. So uh, we're at least, we'll give a, a good round here. So we'll go Talvin first. What did you want to do? Uh, fire crossbow at whatever this thing is. All right. Uh, I think I'm at disadvantage because I'm in sunlight. Let's double check that real quick. There are children so, in the boat. We're 20 feet. We're 20 feet right now, yeah. and something's in the water grabbing at his boat. Clinging to Rosgar's boat. Uh, boy, here we go. Uh, eight. Please eight. don't. Make, please don't so, make me kill a kid. No, <laughs> the arrow fires and just hits the water. <laughs> 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 I'm right. throwing a dagger. I'm okay. Elgin's Sir, I am throwing a dagger. Okay. I'm screaming well, to get his attention this. next. I think at this point, Israel would look look behind me like, what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? Thing. <laughs> Do I, I swear? Okay. I'm going to throw this dagger, okay? Let's see yeah. if it hits. Throw it. Ow. 12. 12. Uh, it kind of just it, it enters the water and thrown dagger and water just doesn't really work out and it just kind of goes. So um, can I just um? I'm I could, in there with an Eldritch blast right now. Can I just shift my boat over there and 
yell it at it and just say, what are you doing? Well, I would say, okay, sir, so we're, we're, we're resolved the last attack, and then we can see what you guys Go ahead. Yeah. I rolled a 20. A 20, that definitely is. So, okay. natural or no? No, uh, 15 plus 5. Okay, excellent. Roll the damage. That's uh, six points of force damage. I am six points of force. Okay. Um, so, and you get kind of as, as it reacts to all this, it just kind of lets go and kind of disappears under the murky water. I summon the sword and just like. As you see, though, but, but what you do see is this, you do see this creepy girl doll face right as like on the boat tips and then it disappears um, as it lets go and it's no longer. You guys need to go like now. You can shoot it now. I'm okay with you shooting it. Going. <laughs> yeah. Start rowing. Start rowing. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Okay. All right. I'll say as it goes, you guys, from what you can tell, at least you don't see any more on the boats. I'm going to search the water. I'm going to go like five feet into the water and just like go back and forth searching for, for at least the one that I just hit. Okay. I'm just yeah. I'm gonna find like a nice shady spot and just still looking at like the uh, the coast of this lake. I'm just gonna sit and start yeah. that. All right. This will be really high or DC. This is really high DC. But go ahead. So. Um, but for the first time, which I keep forgetting, I have uh, I have this thing called uh for my race. It's uh, knowledge from a past life, so I can add a D6 onto that. Uh, I can do that twice a long rest. So that's uh. No, that probably doesn't make it 13. Because I rolled uh, eight on the perception check, then plus four on my uh, knowledge from a past life, and a plus one on my uh, perception. So it's right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. 14. Yeah. All right. So the three of you on shore then. Um, I would say part of your investigation, in fact, one thing you guys did find is the clothes that were promised you as far as things that would look more like you could get around the, at least what you assume were things that would get around. They're not the jungle gear, but they seem to be more things that you would go into a village with that look different than your dynasty clothing. So yeah. we'll see for the purpose of this, you guys did find those things that were promised you. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, with that, what are the three of you doing on shore? I need to lie down. That was, I, I just collapsed. I'm like, I... <laughs> I think I'll just, you guys keep watch. Yeah. I'm going to sit I with drag Thor for a bit. Over. I drag Scott over to Talvin uh, because just, I feel like yeah, yeah, I'm just like, yeah. you're just yeah. dragging I'm like uh. I'm just down next to Talvin wherever he is. All yeah, right. I'm just under a tree right now. Um, so I'll say for this, um, we'll make you guys roll. You guys get your long rest in. Um, nothing seems to go on shore. Yay. Uh, awesome. So you guys can get your long rest. Now the three of you as you guys proceed um, without issue, uh, just about around sunset, you guys make it to this kind of makeshift village. Um, and you guys are probably a good mile away from it when, I mean, you start hearing cheering because people start to see all these tiny forms and you get there and um oh, they make me so there, happy there in a moment. Is, there's re, there's re, there's um reunions kids are going through there are parents looking and not seeing their children looking at you mm -hmm. as um kind of wordlessly giving you guys a look like oh no You're missing people, and that's what that's probably what it is. You're missing three kids um, and three adventures. I'm not the best speaker, but I guess I'll go up there. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll go up to them and I'll just say, "I, I'm, I'm sorry. We can, we can save all of them. They were gone before we got there." And Roz got uh -oh. staying in the water, checking the underside <laughs> of all three boats. <laughs> Make an investigation check. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, so no, you're saying I should have suggested someone else do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seven. Man. Woo! All the boats are clear. You're very confident. That, uh, Nailed it. There. Um, yeah, I got it. 
Um, on the way over there, I pro I would have liked to clean them up a little bit. You know, if their okay, eye was okay. missing, I'll you know, clean up the blood and make sure they yeah. <laughs> look presentable. Yeah, sure. You, yeah, enough that was. I mean, yeah, they're they're injured, but yeah, you had a lot you're doing. Um, but yeah, you make it. They look like someone's looked after them. They're still incredibly injured, and you even see um, they need more attention immediately. But um, your care and the and, and your your friend's care is obvious to okay. to to those as, as they bring them. Um, though without too much, um, the three of you are um, ushered uh, rather quickly into by um, by the leader there um, to. So let me get my notes here. So I want to get this right. So you are ushered quickly uh, by Suheen uh, direct, like back into his like main cabin and kind of like, does it, people going, what happened, what happened? He's like, I will talk to them first. It kind of gives you a look because he doesn't, he wants to make sure that, that things are set appropriately um, and get you in there and just simply ask what, what happened. Um, we okay. entered upon your encampment. We followed the blood. We found the children. With the children came the dolls, though. We fought fiendish creatures, or at least fiendish in, in magic. Did you guys know about this? No, I don't. What dolls were these? You knew nothing of this warehouse? Warehouse? What warehouse? Can I inside check them? Yeah, make an inside check. Twenty. Thirty. Um yeah. You you really look in and he's I think the the pressure and everything, he just doesn't even have it in him to even keep his official stance and he just seems like totally he has no he has no idea what you're talking about um clueless on the dolls clueless on this warehouse just um he has not no another idea. memory modification type just he really doesn't seem like he knows anything i would say that he just seems honest with that um okay i'll say with the tw dirty 20 yeah you, you don't get the sense that he, there's any confusion or or anything like um, I would say that the, the memory modifications that you've seen so far are, mm. are kind of clumsily done. Mm. Um, like events don't line up, timelines don't line up. Um, and you and re you, you, your memory was even altered at one point. You remember how it didn't quite make sense um, when you thought that Skaha had, had stabbed you. And so you can, you can, you would think that you'd be able to detect this on, on, on like at least kind of see something and none of that kind of weird unmatching event seems to be on him. So that's what occurred. We never finished the, the fiend. We're still in search. That, the village yeah, is cleared like, at the moment. We can't. Not really. We're what still do you mean working. by not really? Oscar really? says, these dolls controlled your children and they controlled me. It's not safe to go back until we've destroyed them. We were able to take out a few of them, but we suspect that they'll be back alive, if you can call it that, within 24 hours. So it's it's not safe. But we're we're going to go back and we're going to try and save your town. We have we have our people are still there, and we're going to head back too. Do you have any idea how you're going to do this? Willpower. <laughs> Power of friendship all along. Okay. At the moment, we don't. Mm -hmm. We plan to give chase to a lead we have. And that's all we have at the moment. We need to reconvene with our friends as well on the shoreline. He thinks for a moment and says, we will not head back that direction then. We'll, we'll stay here. Stay here and uh, I will have to re, we'll have to see maybe uh, on the walk a little longer or rebuild in um, some miles away from, from where it was before. Um, 
Do you feel like they will leave the location or? Um, like, these types stay in the village? Or these types the... usually don't just leave because they want to. You understand? Hmm. We're talking about dark, dark things. Okay. Um, then maybe we can found a new place. Just hold here for now. Um, and we, we still have those flares that you gave us and we will send up a signal as soon as we have some for sure information. Nods and um, thank you, thank you so much. Um, he does think for a moment, and uh, he, he rummages around, and he does find uh, he comes out with this kind of like like hand sized ruby. Um, he hands it over. And he just goes, "My thanks for." Um, everything you've done. Does he give it to me or to Rosga? Or... I probably hands it to you unless unless something else. He was, you were talking. Um, I'm going to... You can tell he, he hands it to you, but he kind of talks to the three of you. This is meant to be his overarching for all of you. Okay. I'm going to push it back in his hand and say, you have lost so much. And it was, it was our honor to be able to help you. Don't worry about payment. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Nineteen. Um, he takes it. You, you and your friends are always welcome here. Um, whatever you need know that you have an ally here. Thank you, that, that is enough. That is more than enough. Your, your, your town and your people have taken great care of me while I've needed it. And I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be alive without you. It's, he's, he's crying, feeling the feels, if you will. Um, so, uh, <laughs> all right, so you guys exit and what would you like to do? Uh um. Rosgar wants to ask if anybody knows anywhere that we could find magical weapons, because that seems to be the only thing that hurts the dolls. Um, Treefer uh, talks to you guys. Um, <laughs> and, and so she Rosgar and just goes, um, I sometimes uh, in Nico in Nico Janus, there seem to be a, you know there seem to be some things um, that they could do. Um, saw people all types uh, sh ships coming in, ships coming out. I'm sure I heard tales of magic things there, but uh, none of us have anything like that. Thank you. Hey, hey, Trooper. Um... I need you to answer a few questions for me, bud. Uh, <laughs> well, anything for you, you are, you are a hero. Oh, well, thank yeah. you. Um, do you. Do you remember anything uh, while we were in, this, in the city about uh, this stone warehouse? Do you know anything about that? No, I mean, there's a lot of warehouses in Nicodronus. Um, no, no, not not Nicodronus. So, what in the village? In the village. No, I don't know of any warehouse that's in the village. Do I trust him on that? Where are your insight? Hold on, let me play a little noise. <laughs> Acting kind of sus, don't you think? 17. Oh, 17. Um, he doesn't seem to be aware, uh, I would say. Um, doesn't know what that is. Seems, seems honestly clueless. 
about okay. a, about something being outside the village. Okay. Um, so I would say that he's you don't know what it is, but there is something that he is nervous about. And you can tell there's something he hopes you don't ask. What that is, you don't know, but um, he's telling the truth right now. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep questioning them. I'm gonna say uh, those merchants that that you encountered that that day where you brought back the yes. supply. How many? How many of them were there? And as she speaks, Rosgar keeps inching closer and closer to it. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Oh, something I might be good at. Yeah, good let's go. <laughs> oh, look at that. There we go. Natural Got 20. Yeah. Nice. Buddy. Um, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he, he looks honestly, uh, honestly scared. Um, and uh, he he goes. Oh, I mean, I don't. I didn't. I didn't see all. I didn't see all of them. I mean, I don't know. Um, maybe maybe there was. Uh, I mean, it could have been six, seven. I don't. I don't know. And um, do you guys have any questions for for this for this one? Yeah. I would say with that over inside check, he's starting to get defensive. Like you're inching close to whatever he might be embarrassed about. Did the merchants ask any questions about the village? Did they talk to you about anything other than the goods? Oh, I mean, they asked where, where it was. They asked, uh, you know, They seemed interested if uh, we knew any of, of any uh, Kiwan Tai. Um, um, but um, a little unusual. No, people usually don't know about them. Um, but uh, I mean, you can see he starts to, with the intimidation, he starts to cry and says, they asked me how many kids we had. There it is. Now, why were you hiding this from me, Tifer? I thought they were all going to die. And it was going to be my fault. They were, and it was. <laughs> He's just bawling. <laughs> it was just down you kind of see this facade that this careless facade that he was wearing really melts away and it's just you know he's he's wrecked as a person rasga says if there's anything else you need to tell us tell us now man with that intimidation all that I, i'd say he did the natural 20 he looks and says i can't The one who gave me the the one who gave me the uh, the packages. We looked eye to eye, but I can't remember his face. Was he wearing gloves? Do you know? Was he wearing gloves? No, did not have gloves okay. on. How about you come uh, along with us, Tifer, just for for the night? Uh, you ask him to come with the to the to the village with you. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> just for like the next like ten minutes. <laughs> when she says that, can I just walk up? I was eating fish that some of the villagers <laughs> gave me in the corner, and I just walk up with my plate and I say, "No, that's a great idea, actually." <laughs> Tifer, you should come back with us. Oh, he's. I'll say right now, unless you guys are going to somehow like beat him up in time, but he would not do that. <laughs> All right, so not, there, is, there is nothing so close. That is Come on, to even a werewolf with his 
with his nail to his neck. He's not moving. He is not going to go back. He will talk. He will. He will spend time with you guys here if he wants to go. If you want to go somewhere here, but unless you're going to have to force him back. So you are a man that feels ashamed. Yeah, we'll do nothing about it. Three for three for three for. <laughs> Shame always works, man. I'm just giving him the, the stern eye right okay. next to Roscoe while he's just he kind of he's just crying, he's upset. <laughs> oh, I don't feel bad for him. He's a uh, he, he's a coward, man. He's not gonna let's just hey, well, this right now. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> what do you guys want? What, what, what do you do next? Um, what about uh, Aaliyah's mom? How are they? Yeah, that's what Okay, so you done you 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 said ten more minutes or something. Were you doing anything else with Treefer or I was just gonna drag him along with us just in case we wanted to ask him any more questions. Oh, he will accompany you if you want to go to these different places. That's like here. But okay, I'll just look at Roz Gun. Say Roz Gun, keep an eye on this one for a minute and let let's keep making the rounds. Okay. Um you find Aaliyah and Aaliyah's mom and they are um She's hugging and she's caring more for the eye. And you do see, um, I would say, like kind of somewhat in the distance, all, all, all the kids are, are somewhat there. And um, there are some, uh, I would say, hot metal that's being warmed up and getting to red hot. They are assuming it's going to be used to cauterize the wounds fairly soon. Um, in order to take care of, of some stuff, though no one's kind of mentioned it to the kids quite yet. But um, see, you know, mom's talking to, honey, I'm so glad you're safe. I'm so glad you're back. And just kind of rubbing her and petting her, her skin. And they're kind of having this purr thing between each other. Um, what'd you guys like to do? Knock on the door. Or the, the window frame, whatever. The okay, door yeah, thing. yeah, because it's open. Yeah, yeah, so you can open. <laughs> Ezra, so good to see you. Oh, Miriam, I'm I'm glad to see that you're doing well. You've been taking care of yourself like you promised. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, she told me so many things. I am forever grateful to all of you. Good, good. Is it okay if we sit down with, with Aaliyah for a minute? We just have a few more questions. We have to go back. Miriam, we have to go back and get these things that did this to your daughter, and we need help from her. Um, she nods um, and she for sorry she nods and she kind of puts uh, Leah there and, and Leah's like yeah and she's kind of you can see I'd say that you get the, the impression like she's still very shaken and kind of seeing you um, and keen she gets that this is going to cause her to have to try to think back to all this craziness she already starts kind of breathing a little heavy it's okay. It's okay. And Leah, you, you know me. Remember we used to play dolls at your house and not dolls, not dolls. Just, just, <laughs> just uh, like, ooh. Too soon. She too soon. just starts too soon. wailing oh, man. and crying. Oh, okay, and I'm better loses, myself. Loses, <laughs> loses it. Loses it. You can see, I mean, just full. PTSD, panic, like God, just, you, she's uh, not conscious right now. Oh, <laughs> I think, I think we're about to say, I give Asriel, I give Asriel a little oh. slap on the back of the head. And I just look down like, what were you thinking? Bro. Oh. oh, I suck. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, I minor illusion puppies. <laughs> Is this your answer for everything? Keep your puppies are not open. Oh man. Bail out. Bail out. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I just sorry for oh, this. Oh man. See you later. And what about Shouldn't the uh, what about the little girl it's that funny I funny as it is. Do your parents are still there? They're all good? Well, um, all the kids are there. Are you all their parents are there? I was just asking about the little girl that I was talking to. The little silver one? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You should follow up on her. Um, yeah. Um, you see her with another child who's as like 
kind of black and dark red spots. And there's two adults there that seem to be uh, similar to similarly colored um, enough to where I guess what you'd pick up real quick is that she's with someone else and someone else's parents. Mm-hmm. Um, and you do know that uh, some parents were killed. So I just walk back up to her and I say, are these just, these your parents, little one? Uh, no. They're, they're not. You're by yourself? Mm-hmm. But th- they said they would take care of me? You know, I was, I don't remember a time, but I was once by myself. Someone took me in, gave me a trade, gave me a life. Stay here for a little bit. Hang out. I'll come back for you. Kind of smiles and snuggles to you. And I give her a little pat on the head. And I just walk away. Back to business. Um, you walk away and as you're, as you're um, like, yeah, you walk away. That's fine. Um, you can walk away. What else are you guys doing? I'm not speaking another word till we get off this island. Are we good to make this? Um, heck. Yeah, even, even, so. even Shreefer's looking at you as real, like, mm. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. bad, but. Yeah. <laughs> dude needs to go. Peace that dude needs shit. to go. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys took Shreefer with you, so. Yeah, Can't I just oh, yeah, that's right. join our party. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, he's, he's bait. He's going to be the first one <laughs> out. I bait. swear. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Does Treefer sell things? Is, does he keep some of the things he transports, or is he just more of a transporter? Yeah, ask him. Treefer, uh, do you sell things? No, Make- no, I, 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 um, I get, uh, I go, and I, I go, and I get all the supplies. I bring them back. I distribute them to everybody. I don't, I don't, you know, we, our economy is trade. We trade things. <laughs> I do this, and um, I get to eat. Mm. And I get to live somewhere. Oh, and then can I retcon one thing? I just want to ask the little girl, what's her name? Yes. Uh, her name is 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 C is Sivra Le. So Sivra Le. Sivra Le. <laughs> Oh my God. Dang it! <laughs> no sponsor here. Why are you gonna do that, man? Why are you gonna do that? I know, why you you think you have a cool yeah. thing on silver, and then it's never all He's like, it's ruined. That'd be silver <laughs> rod. Uh, Perfect. All right. Well, I'm thinking that um, if we're gonna make this you, battle back, we probably don't need to take three boats back. Correct? Yeah, yeah probably not. I'm man. speaking with Roska and Nazbo at the moment. I'm just sitting in the boat, ready to go. <laughs> just so awkward. So, Rosca, do we want to take an extra boat and think of Elanthor and Buddy? Or do we want to just take one boat and... I'm fine with keeping the horse around. They're delicious. <laughs> They're big. Don't... So I hop in the boat as real and I just... That. <laughs> I hop in the bow as real and I this is great. Start, this is great. <laughs> I just start going. So you can't leave Roscoe and Keen alone. <laughs> we gotta bring better it's about to happen now. Yeah, yeah, we're taking boats. Yeah, we really need talkers in the group. Yeah. I got no charisma. <laughs> I got it. I just chose I, I have it. I just chose not to do this right now. <laughs> I'm a really smooth person, but uh I'm dead guys charisma is 17. People take me the wrong way. That's what that's the problem with Keen. They take yeah. all my words the wrong way. Maybe it's my tone. So far, yeah. Wasn't bad so far. <laughs> and how long how long does it take for them to get back to us on the shore? Like another four hours back or yeah, yeah, it'd be another four hours if you guys okay. going back. So you are all of you headed back then? Yeah, since I'm not yeah. rowing, does that count as a short rest? 
If you're not going to actively row, then yeah, you can do your rest. Yeah, I'll just be rowing the whole time. Yeah, no, you're good, Asriel. Thank you. Lay down in the front of the boat. That fuck up, I'd be tired too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> breaking, a, breaking a child is exhausting. I've oh, never seen God. a kid cry like that, Rasko. It's crazy. <laughs> that wasn't my best move, I'll admit. We did, I mean, we did used to play dolls in my defense, but... <laughs> Rosk is just glad we're talking about anything but the fact that he just killed Keen. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Got his own. That's why I jumped so, up. So you guys begin <laughs> to um, you guys begin to row away, and just as you uh, do, you hear the kids are starting to play a little bit. Um, and uh, the Keen, location, what is this? <laughs> one thing, one thing that uh, you you see is that um, <clears throat> you see um, uh, Severe just kind of like uh, walking like this, going ah, like for, like they're all <laughs> battling a little <laughs> bit, and, like pretending to battle, and she's mimicking you and and, and that type of thing. I just um, give a little smirk, a little smirk, <laughs> and I keep keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see, you guys have gone there, you're going back, you also did the battle. So I'm going to go ahead and for, um, now as you see, you're going to try to take a rest at this point, or you're actively resting. Um, yeah, I just want a short rest. Right. I would say even with short rest, because you are still sort of active, I'm going to say everyone go ahead and make a constitution saving throw for kind of this elongated activity here. Four. Four. All right, Azra, you're going to go ahead and get a point of exhaustion here. Um, going to... I thought she was resting on the boat. She is a short rest, but she's not actively sleeping. And even on the boat, it's kind of like it's going to be, you know, okay, okay, I got you. a really good, good rest here. Um, so, um, so about four hours at this point. It's like, I would say it's probably about 10, 11 at night. Uh, you guys pull into the shore of the village and you remember where it was and are able to see at this point um, a fully rested of the rest of your party. Scott has the wake. Um, now, right before this, uh, the three of you on the shore, was there anything you guys wanted to do, talk about before? I, I just um, my whole backstory yeah. with Talvin. Well, yeah, uh, I wanted to uh, get, get to talk about um, uh, to Lanthor about just things like where do you want to go after this? Okay. Just well, uh, as I probably told you, it, I don't really know who I am. Um, I'm, I wasn't joking when I said I woke up in the woods two months ago. That actually happened. No, I remember you telling us this. Um, no memory of anything. Um, and I summoned the sword. This was buried, like, just, like stuck in a tree about a couple feet from where I woke up. I dispelled it. And then when we teleported into the lake, um, I... I saw something. Um, I'm not sure any of anyone else saw. Um, and I heard voices of people who sound like they know who I am. And I, I want to find out who that is who the people are and who I am. Does that ring a bell to me before I say anything else? Like, does that sound familiar to me at all? Uh, how so? You mean just... Like, uh, like just a strange phenomenon, multiple voices, vision, stuff like that, that he's been telling me. Make an arcana check. Six. No. No. Well... 
I may not know too much about what you're going through. I'm not sure how the rest of us are going to want to proceed after this. But I think we're done here. I think yeah. the smartest logical way to do this is that we have to go to Nicodronus. We still have to find Grimwood, find us this orc and everything. We did promise Ezreal a bunch of things. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. We promised Azrael we'd help her. We promised to find uh, so many promises that would have. Talvin the promise keeper. Talvin the promise keeper, man. <laughs> Keep him less. At some point, we'll call you the prom We'll call you the promise maker right now. We'll see how. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how many you actually keep. Yeah. Okay. I just hope that everyone is on the same page when I say the mission does come first now. Yeah. Okay. I don't really have anything to object to. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, at some point, do I remember I like to help how deep? Parents. Do I remember like how deep we were like when I had that first vision uh, back in the lake? Like how yeah. far below we were? Um, I mean, I would say you feel like you were you were extremely deep. I mean, everyone, you guys all made up because going up in water isn't too too hard. But um, let's put it this way. You guys had to travel at least about like three to five minutes each. Um, so you were quite deep. I mean, it was, it was definitely deep. Right, you um, don't have an idea of how, I mean, because the footage, you're not exactly sure. But. At some point during these four hours, uh, I'm going to stand up and tell Talvin to uh, just keep an eye on her, keep an eye out. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm just going to walk into the water and just submerge myself for a little bit. Okay. Mm. Talvin isn't like that. <laughs> Talvin may have an inclination. <laughs> just wait for anything to happen. Right. Okay. Um, let me just double check. You don't need to eat, drink, or breathe. That's what I thought. So you go down. Um, and you begin to kind of take this like walk, and you're heavy enough to where you float. Um, your dark vision is giving you really good sight here in the darkness. You see these gray things. Um, so you tell me, how far are you going to walk into this? Um, well, I want to get to a point where, like, um, I feel like I can go, like, kind of as deep as I was when uh, I had that first vision. Like, kind of far out. Uh, okay. So you're going to what you assume is the, what, like, the bottom of the lake itself, like, is what yeah. you're telling me. Like, kind of, kind of what you think. Okay, okay. Go ahead and make a charisma check. It's a 17. 17. You see that at the far ends of your vision, um, you just see details. There's no color down here with how you see. Um, you, you suddenly realize you're not seen as far as you were. And then you're seeing less and less. And you suddenly become aware that you can't see the bottom that you're standing on. You can see your feet. You can see your hands, but just pure black outside of that. And you get the sense that something is listening. I just let myself float there. And after like a minute, I say, who are you? What do you want with me? Words come back. 
multiple voices as one to watch for now. You thought me dead. Why? The thread was cut. Who was I to you? By means to an end, or was I someone different? Comes back. monster and your vision comes back and you see the bottom of the floor I summon the sword while I'm down here okay. just stare at it a little bit down here it's interesting it, it just it seems like there's no resistance from the water of it here, as though it, it, it enjoys being here. Um, and as you as you kind of move it around a little bit, you get the sense that it's not so much that it's in water, but that it is close to something you don't know what that is as though it's almost beneath the ocean floor that you stand on is is what it seems to be reacting to not the water in of itself more of the depth and possible location i pull the sword and make my way back to uh calvin Nisgaha. How long has he been underwater? Just so I can have a guesstimation of that. A um, couple minutes or? No, he walked to the center of the lake. So he's probably been about an hour. <laughs> Alvin, is okay. he dead? He's you dead. know what? I had the faintest idea that I might have to go in for him. Then again, I haven't even seen him eat. So what makes you think air might not be a problem mm. for him? That doesn't correspond. Breathing doesn't correspond with eating. I don't understand how you got to that conclusion. There's a difference between um, and, uh, this is the taste of food and my stomach and I'm just I'm, some, I'm just an average Joe. Don't uh, I don't look for any words of real intelligence in me. An average Joe would know these things. It's an average thing to know. <sighs> Whatever. I'm going to ignore her for a little bit. Let's just... go check on them. As soon as they get 30 feet, I might misty step in between them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> right. So we'll say this is about the time you guys are kind of rolling up. You kind of see this this reaction. Uh, Thor soaking wet. Uh, um going on. And uh, Ashbrio, go ahead and make an Arcana check as you're kind of coming up on this. It's, it's a 15. Sorry. Oh, 15. Sorry, sorry, 15. Okay, so 15. Um, there's, you, you stop for a second because you realize that um, Elanthor is undead. But also, also kind of living. There's this weird combination, um, and there is, you know, 
you, I would say with that, you haven't heard of how this happens, but this definitively starts to make your mind burn with possibilities. Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay. I see you, Ellen Thor. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, how, how are the kids? Uh, good. When I but also has changed his clothes. Now he's in like regular rags and like a poncho, just hiding yeah. as much as he can. When I jump off the boat this time, I make a show of pulling the boat up so everybody sees me pulling the boat up and making sure it comes onto the beach. You know what I mean? I'm like, uh, wow. just to make sure that everybody saw the boat get on this time. You guys saw that, right? No, oh, yeah, we see you. We didn't Ego lose it. We didn't lose it. Great, buddy. <laughs> so what? We, uh, everything's okay back there? The tiefling broke one of the children. Oh, uh, Azrael, Azrael. Oh. Tieflings get a bad rep thing. already. What's wrong with you? I, you guys know me. I'm not a very good talker. We just, I wouldn't say we know you. We just yeah, met yeah, you about like half a day ago. Okay, you've been around me for like a day and you probably know this still. But. Oh, I was asleep when they first were talking to you. So I know you even a little less. <laughs> He's a good one. Okay, Trust. fine, I guess. I may, I may have just brought up, you know, dolls. While, ah! Uh, Azrael! <laughs> Oh, I said he was a good one. Not a I see one. nothing wrong with that. That's that. <laughs> I, I slapped Talon. Stop. Oh, oh. It's fine, though. We're still friends, probably. We got more information from the supplier. Really? Like what? At this point, Roz got cast. Hey, Keen. Roscoe well, doesn't remember. <laughs> sort of like the announcer, and you guys will say so. Azrael Keen. What yeah. is what does Rasga mean? <laughs> Azrael? Um, well, uh, we talked to Teeth first. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that weirdo. And uh the merchants definitely had something to do with that. They asked how many kids were in the village. How oh, ew. And were switching out supplies. Ew. This yeah. is pretty solid information. I think the guy shit his pants. Roscoe had him pretty scared. So. <laughs> Isn't he standing right behind that? Yeah. He, he said he looked their leader in the eye but yeah. could not remember his face. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ezra, you, you do remember. I just want to make sure that you're remembering. Um, you were at the orphanage. You remember the you know, of talking about people escorting children with not the best intent. Holy moly, you're right. I kind of like ripple effect. <laughs> just, just like, oh no. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain. Just like, hmm. You know, when I was, okay, Azrael, you weren't here for this, but everyone else, you know how Razga, we, we went to um, the at Raziel Lanthor we went to the orphanage and they're like, oh, help uh, help get these children's parents back. They're stuck in a cave. Uh, she's like, like, yeah, they got like, it's something. They're stuck the, somewhere. The, the parents are up north. Are. Yeah, they're up north. But either way, I guess we have to rescue them. Anyway, Talia was talking about there's and sometimes shady people tote kids around so she said something to that notion i'm now i'm just thinking does that correlate yeah. to this yeah i got some red string on a board just <laughs> beautiful mind stuff. fascinating i'm just crouching i'm thinking like, just retaking my like, clothesline that was between the, the yeah <laughs> that was like what like i take the them? clothesline in the old village like look <laughs> look at how it connects i i just start I, I, writing I things on the ground and start connecting them on the road <laughs> this is my conspiracy theory and you it's not a it's not a theory because i know i'm right well we don't have time to unpack all of that, that. yeah <laughs> Um, but anyways, did they say where they were coming, that these merchants were from? Maybe we can probably 
head on over there. We do have to go to Nicodronus too. I hate, I, I keep saying that, but we need to go. I understand. We got to get back to Nicodronus. We should come back here another day to see about where that escaping person with his horses and like gloves went. But right now, let's get to Nicodronus. Oh, Hold on. yeah. He's also said that there were like six or seven of them. So they fled the yeah. prince, right? If uh, the merchant. I mean, yeah, we did. Me and Keen did find some prints earlier today. Yeah. That that does check out. Yeah, but if, if we're all right, so go search them out. Prepare for more of a group than an individual. Yeah. And you guys want to leave the village as it is? For mm. now, I don't for see now. how we're, we yeah. can fix this now. Yeah. It, what would change in Nicodronus? Magical weapons. Magical yeah. weapons. If we were they to come back here, they don't they don't I pull my one coin out and I say magical weapons and I start flicking it up in there. With what magical weapons though, do you speak of, Asriel? Because I think you forgot to tell Talvin about something. What? You what leaving the you ruby? Said. You left the ruby. Oh. <laughs> well, they wanted to pay us. And we're oh, not oh, oh. Asriel! Asriel, sir. Take I knew Tobin wasn't going to take that oh, good. God. Adventurers need money sometimes, Asriel. They bought if you travel with us, you're not going to be fed by a little village around all the time. <laughs> they all I mean, suck it up and take guys. the money. I'm not going to take their money. I look in the oh, bag that we got from when we, uh, from when plus, we went What of your caves? friends, Asriel? <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, look back at the 500 gold we got from the cave, and that's and Skaha still has that flawless diamond. I'm, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, or, I'm no. holding it because I mean, this is a good start, but we need a little more. Well, I have a little nest egg actually from over the years. Oh, yeah, I got it's not, not a like a big nest egg, but... that's not what adventuring is about, you guys. I get care about more than the money well money equals rations and better <laughs> rations. weapons rations equal food. food equals right food. I, start, I start doing more equations in the dirt next to my conspiracy oh. theory and on my name I, I couldn't leave this just to go to the city to purchase or to do things such as that we need to get this fiend we need to we stop what's back. happening here if we come back here later if we leave and we go back what says we find him again what says he isn't smart enough to leave? I'll tell you what. Somewhere else. We can follow this trail that you and me found as far as it as it goes to Nicodronus. If it splits, it splits. If we find them on the long, long way, then that's a problem we can solve right there. Okay. You know what? I'll come. Along I can agree with, to that. I'll come along with you guys on that. I'm curious. What are you guys going to Nicodronus for? They wish to buy magic items. Uh, we're looking for someone. Uh, you're part of the team. Uh, we were hired <laughs> by uh, yeah. by the dynasty. <laughs> oh, oh, Azrael doesn't know that we're like elite silver class. Like yeah, Azrael, right. you don't even know. Azrael, what do you know about Jorhas? Uh, I what do I know anything about Jorhas? What do you went to school, Jorhas? That's true. I did go to school. <laughs> <laughs> well, there so it's all a brain. Gosh, there we go. <laughs> we are That's the bubbling true. shield. <laughs> Sounds like somebody went to the Arizona state of Jorhas. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Uh, Whoa! Okay, I can't uh. even listen. Except for a second. I'll, I'll respond. Uh, I've been living there for the last couple of years, going to school. Can we walk? Are we walking and talking right now, or what are we do? Let's walk and talk. Let's walk and let's, talk. Yeah, let's, let's come on. Let's go. All right. So, what are you attempting to do? We're gonna follow these tracks, aren't we? I think we want to follow the path back to where we were, and then begin to follow the track. Okay. The the wheelbarrow thing, whatever it was, to Nicodronus. Sure, so um, yeah, this is a heavy horse-drawn cart that you're following. Um, so you get to the house, the house is still there, the shed there, warehouse. Um, anything you're doing there, or are you starting the trail? Who has the food? Did anybody ever end up putting that in their inventory? 
Um, no, and just I'm as a note, so, so, so far, um, Razga, Ezra, and King, you have not taken a long rest, just as a reminder. How are you guys feeling right now? Uh, I was trained for this. Good. We, good. we took a good. short rest after yeah. the last battle. That's true. So that's I all I have on the list. Right. So, I mean, so, yeah, I, I guess just so you know, you're coming up on where on, ex um, on exhaustion. Yeah, you're going to keep on making checks. So because you're you've been up for you're you're kind of up more than 16 hours, it's going to be yeah. harder for for certain things. So okay, as a note there. Um, which is um, fine because because you might want to get on the trail and I that that's cool. I just want to make sure you know where you are. That's up to the people who need who are as tired as all hell. I mean, do you guys want to keep going for a little bit and then physically, Keen's tired, but when you're looking at him, he seems fine. He seems fine. Okay, he's used to that. <laughs> Roscoe, you all good? Roscoe's fine. Okay. Israel, there's there could be benefits of staying and poking around a bit more, you know, before we mindlessly go go look at this thing. I mean, what about this building that those kids were in? Don't we want to see any more of that building? We already poked around in there, though, didn't we? Yeah, we looked all around in there. I think nothing there but bad juju. Yeah, what she said. Let's go on that trail. Let's go on this trail. Let's All right. Go. So before I'm we head out, I'm just going to take the food that was in the house. Ugh, nasty. Nasty. That's food. That uh, leftover food that was in the warehouse. I just want to keep it with me. fiendish food. I don't care. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to well wrap it. Crawling around on the I'm going to tear a piece of my. How big? How much food is there? Like, is this like grub? What is this? That I'm um, I, would, I would say is, well, so it's. <clears throat> So what you see is it's actually more like uh, some vegetables, like leafy greens mm. are there, but they have that slight glow to it. Um, all, all that is glowing that had that kind of weird sheen to it um, is kind of organic, either fruits or vegetables. I take, um, hi, there's not a lot there. Is there, you said it's just some no, leftover? just over. some straps. So, so yep, we, I take it. Yeah, it's a, you get a small Just for bag, later. like a little small sack. Yeah. You don't plan on eating that, do you? That's nasty. No, I have someone that might be able to tell us what this is. Okay. Just, I, I I'm worried yeah. about like all that fiendish arcana just seeping into you. I do have rations if we are really desperate, so. I have yeah. been trained for this. Trust me. Let us continue. Let him, yeah, let's go. Oh, but trust me, sure. didn't somebody yell that right before the lights went out last week? <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna live it down. Oh. Oh. No, just trust me on this. Just to, to make sure with that building, uh, there, are there any other rooms in it? Or did we... Is it just like that one center room with the tables? Um... So you guys look, there are no other rooms, but um, go ahead and make an investigation check if you just want to give. Um, I'm gonna help her. Can I go help her? Last. Yeah, yeah. We, you can give one last look around if you're interested. Okay. The 22. Yeah. 22. Um, I'm going to couple that with your Arcana score too, because you do have that. Um, I would say you look around. Um, as you get a few things, um, one, there is like a weird type of stasis magic that seems to be, um, going on in here. Um, that's probably more about slowing things down, making it maybe a little easier to preserve the life as you're operating on, on, on things. Um, I would say you also find um, two bedrolls. Um, and in one of the bedrolls, um, it's kind of as if it fell out of a pocket or something along those lines or a bag that, that was there. Um, there is a, a very tiny um, bottle that has this red powder. 
The chili something, flakes? Something like this. Hmm. Do I know okay. what it is? I'm oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Did you say you, I did not? No. Okay, there you are. All right. Um, but you do kind of find that, and it's, it's um, I would say with your check, it's probably designed to be taken into the body in some way. Um, but it might have other uses as well. Um, you do get there's, I mean, there's just there's, there's some type of significant amount of um, energy that seems to be emanating from it. Um, you even kind of sense it as, as you pick it up. Um, but it's like a powdered form. Okay, I'll take it. Like, I'll just, not like I'll, I'll I'm not going to enjoy it. <laughs> oh, no. Listen. No, I'm just going to, like, put it in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have you, if I saw you, i definitely have you make, have a UA immediately after you intake that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, anything else I would say, if you want to figure more about it, you'd have to take some time and, and, and mess with it a little bit. And I got, so I'm assuming you're just looking at it in the bottle, right? And so if you wanted to take some time and take it out and do anything, you might be able to figure more about it if you want. But for right now, just kind of looking at it, um, you're not sure what it is. There's no label. Um, I would say you probably, yeah, you don't recognize the substance at all. Um, and I think... 22. Um, other than that, um, I would say you just kind of get again that this that this whole house is meant um, to be transportable in some way. Um, so warehouse. How big is this place again? So it's about, um, it's kind of a square actually, it's about like 60 by 60 feet. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna just like go back to the group and pull out the powder and say, this was in the bedroll over there. Do you guys, any of you guys know what this is? Mm. Can I take a look oh. at it? Not with my average Joe intelligence. Sure. <laughs> average um. Joe intelligence. <laughs> 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 Let me take a look. Yeah, I would say I would say um, Scott, make make an Arcana. Oh, she actually kind of take it out and use it a little bit, like okay. you, you put it in your hand a little bit. Is that what you said? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Solid fifteen. Solid fifteen. What's that if you use your charisma instead of let's your see. intelligence? Um, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Da, 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 da. It would be a 10 if I use my intelligence. No, I'm saying if you, if you use that 15 and use your charisma modifier instead of your intelligence modifier. Oh, okay. Da, da, da. So, here. so it would have been 13. Oh, yeah. Would have gone down. You rolled an 11, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a 15 with Arcana and a 13 with intelligence. Let me look at your shoe. Oh, with uh, charisma. Sure what with just a straight charisma modifier? No, plus her. Oh, I see what you mean. So plus her proficiency is what I was trying to get out of that. Which I think is plus two at level three. Two. Yeah, so where's her? So that's what it would have been. It would have been the same. Because their intelligence and charisma the same modifier. Okay, cool. Right. Perfect. Um, all right. So I would say with that, there was 15, right? Was yes. the total on that? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you put you put that, you begin looking at it. You do not get ex it seems to make a slight reaction as it hits your skin. Um, like it there's a tingling mm -hmm. feeling. And don't tell me this is how it's supposed to be ingested. Should have worn like glove. I'm just um, gonna get ready, to spare the dying real quick. <laughs> but you, it does seem to have like a slight glow to it as it, as it hits as it hits your skin. Um, glow stuff that glows. But as far as God. what it is, if you're looking for how to use it, 
I would say if you're looking for how to use it, you get that it's actually meant uh, to be um, sniffed. Oh, okay, Azrael, you know how you said you could you would shoot it up. This stuff is actually meant to be. You know, <laughs> just uh, uh, I'm I just I don't know what to do. This my hands kind of clammy, so it's it's like sand. It's just sticking. What do you to know my about skin. that, Skaha? Huh? You're 15. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I'll sniff uh, it. I have been I'll around so many it. towns. It's like, uh, the people you meet, they're just like, you want some? And I'm like, ew, no. So, of course, I'm like, uh, this stuff's familiar. Mm. Uh, definitely went to the D.A.R.E. program. Yeah. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I rubbed this on your leather. I'm like, I did not. There you go. That's what you do. It's just Put it on my leather. Can I make a check about it? <laughs> gonna be my wet wipe here you are you dunked yourself in a river you're still kind of you're still kind of damp like 10 minutes ago <laughs> does okay. the glow look similar to like the fruit glow oh yeah. the fruit uh, glow had the green this is yeah, kind of like yeah that. it's different it's, it's, did you say did you wipe it on someone just now i just wiped it on a lanthor's armor just okay. like it's no of... that's fine um as your hand touches uh elanthor's armor oh, it no. Um, and you kind of pull it away. There is a part where where the where your hand was has heated that portion of his armor red hot. Oh, I'm just, uh, we're just looking at each other. We're like, actually, help me on that though. Do you have metal or do you have leather armor? I have leather. Never yeah, mind. I kinda... So there is a burn mark in the shape of your hand uh, where that was. It's not catching everything on fire, but it's kind of like psh, and there's uh... this leather smell in the air. Do you want um, one you on the away, opposite side? Like it's intentional? That, that, that um, the little bit of material that was on your hand kind of like kind of evaporates and your hand seems to be normal again. I told you to watch this one. I swing my shoulder over to a lanthorn. Can he do anything about it? No, not like that. It's Calvin. And I just like, can he do something about this? I mean, it seems a little overkill. You're okay though, right? <laughs> You're all with the vibe. <laughs> All right, all right, sure. I'm gonna rub my hands together. I'm gonna shout some nonsense, and I'm just gonna slap the wound. <laughs> it's not my so did it hurt your arm? It hit the leather of your. Is that from the leather arm? <laughs> I'm just. Gonna, all right. Well, yeah. Sorry, I don't have that prepared today. Uh, well, that's real. Now we know. Can I have the little bottle? No, I'm not gonna I'm gonna take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here you are. <laughs> It was Azrael. It was Azrael. It was Azrael who did it. You're seeing <laughs> tieflings. You're seeing the wrong tiefling. Oh no. I want to give it a little sniff before I put it away. Oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> you're nasty. So are you? Are, are, <laughs> so, so to be clear, for are you? Are you? Are you trying to get it up your nose? Or are you just smelling it? I'm just smelling it. You're smelling it to get the scent. The, the, the scent. Thank God. <laughs> Ah, I'm a, I'm gonna have to say. Do I see her doing do this? Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, you're not do gonna. See her doing this? You do, but you're not gonna stop her like smelling it. Um, I, I just want to do like a quick little before I put it away. Right, but you're just trying to get the old odor of it. Am I am I correct in that? Okay. Um, just a little key bump. Go ahead and make. <laughs> go ahead um, oh, and make an arcana. Oh, yeah, I mean. Man, this is gonna be hard. Make our con check. The twenty-two. Jeez, these rolls. Um, yeah. Okay. With well, the twenty-two, whatever this is, it's processed with some type of necromantic incantations. Um. You kind of get the sense of necromancy on it, like when you when you've completed a spell like that. Um, secondly, I would say that you kind of have to get into strong whiff. I mean, strong like, oof. It almost actually almost makes you pass out. Almost like you sniff like pure like ninety nine percent isopropyl alcohol, right? You're like, oh, like it's this huge yeah. thing. That's kind of what's overwhelming your senses. And after that. You get that it's there's a lingering scent as, as similar to when you were investigating the dolls. Ah, uh, 
Okay. Are we also walking and talking? <laughs> yeah, I feel like well, for walking. this, I think I think you stopped for a sec. Um, yeah. yeah, but um, I'm trying to think. You know what? So so we'll do this. This this is going to be high, but I just want to be fair here. So, uh, Rasaga, uh, or sorry, Razga, Elenthor, and Keen. You guys all make it's going to be high difficulty, but go ahead and make a uh, perception check. And Talvin, you can do the. Uh, can I get my advantage on this? Yeah, Talvin, you do this as well. Talvin? Um, you're not in wolf form, so I don't think you can do. It's nighttime, right? It's not It's not wolf form, I think. I thought it was oh, wolf form. That you That's just Hunter's Bane. Okay, I then. Should I roll for perception too? Yep. I feel like it should. Wolf form. <laughs> yeah, right. this, isn't, this isn't for tracking, though. Oh, okay. Perception. Oh, that's good. Natural 19 for a total of 20, plus I used an all from a past life, so that brings up to 20. <laughs> 22. Uh, that's a dirty 20 for Talvin. I got tw 12. 18. Okay, yeah. So I'd say that, man, I'd say what you guys do get is it's dark, so it's a little easier to see this. There, just a, as this is this, this is transpiring between Skaha and Azrael, um, from under Skaha's hat, there just seems to be a slight glow. There's just kind of this reddish glow that kind of emanates from her. Just as she was doing something, as Azrael kind of did this and this thing, there was just kind of this very brief, it just kind of highlighted um, her skin just a bit, and then it kind of faded away. Very, it was a, like very dim. Very, very, very dim. I just point and like, and that, and that was what are you Skaha. doing with your hair right now? Skaha, are you what doing do you mean? with your hair? You just glow. No, I'm not that talented. My hair over, glows. I reach over and lift the hat. Fuck you. You can't touch my hat. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. no, no, no. It's mine. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lift the hat real quick. Just for a second. Nah. I, please. I scratch at a lanthor. I will burn your leather again once I, I snatch that sword. thing Let off Hasra. I summon the sword. Let me <laughs> He's just I just run away. I run up farther up the trail. I'm on a oh, no. horse. Rosga leans in <laughs> and says, "Are we sure we're all on the same stab team?" Your horse. <laughs> yeah, I'm with I the will big guy. Stab buddy. You will not. I don't know what's going on. Guys, all I did okay. is sniff a bottle. You know what? You know what? As let's calm you know, down, guys. Under my yeah, hat. this is tiefling thing. We need to go. Let's calm down. Horns are okay. private. Rosga's the only person killing buddy. Let's just keep on going. <laughs> All right. No, um, if we're right. done, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so for this, um, I say Keen, I'm sure Talon's helping you again. So make a survival check to and just to be advantage, uh, to see how well you track this now. Because you got information. This is to follow its path. Okay, 17. 17. Um, it's night, and I, I would say with Talvin helping you, that also does away with the potential disadvantage for nighttime because you'd be able to see and, and help with that. Mm -hmm. um so with this you guys get a pretty good idea of where it's going and you're able to make um i would say regular pace so how how long of time are you are you going to take uh, along this path what we want to do is follow the path in the direction of nick Adronis and see where it splits yeah however far uh some people some of us are pretty tired I'm gonna need some sleep soon so let's, I mean, let's do it for i think these tracks hours. are pretty well pretty well in you know what i mean he wrote a pretty hard carry we can follow in a little bit and whenever you guys feel like we need to crash we crash or we can crash here and start in the morning so how many hours are you going to dedicate to this say like how much time does everybody need uh if um, we're on the verge of exhaustion we, that probably means we need a long rest right yeah i need a long rest let's go for two hours yep what I mean, time is it? Is, it is it's, night time, which I know you're used to, but we could stop and rest. Yeah. Because here's the thing: That's I can't saying. really function that well in daytime, and I would like to be at 100 percent for whatever we're going to run into. So, if we can get a good distance at night, and then we can just sleep during most of the day. What time of night is it? Is it like almost morning? It's actually fairly early evening. Um, it's oh. you guys. Well, it's about it's it's about eleven p.m. ish. That's probably where this is going. Um, is actually, the sun no, out no, or the I'm moon sorry. Out? I'm totally yeah. Moon, yeah. Moon's out. Okay. 
Can I make a nature check? See what time it is. I mean, I guess it's we can like guesstimate. It's, it's yeah, we can yeah. guesstimate. We know. Yeah. Okay, Willis. Yeah, and I appreciate that you want to be at top strength, but we got three of us on the verge of exhaustion. Yeah. All right, then let's let's take a break. Can't have you guys. You guys did get some rations, if I remember, to how. Yeah. Buddy, uh, buddy doesn't pull carriages, I does he? Did earlier. Yeah. You good? I have one. You have you have a carriage? We don't. We didn't find was, one either. I was. That's true. I guess we haven't found one now. We wouldn't see it. Hell. You're okay, right. Let's, okay. Let's. Good luck, let's, buddy. Let's take a knee. I guess. I pull my bedroll out. <laughs> I'll take watch for this. All right, shall we do in the long rest? Yeah, let's let's get that in. Okay, so you took those hours or just immediately where are you guys taking the long rest? Right by the shed or I'd say we, we pull off to the side a little bit. Clear out of the way. Literally get a good distance away we went from a little ways. So, 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 you, so, you, so you go like your two hours that you were saying? Is that yeah, what we're yeah, doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um all right, let me just Cool. I would say with your two hours, um, you are able to make it, you kind of make it to the most northern point of uh, the lake um, as, as, as you're following this along. Um, again, you're, you're a little deep into more of the grassy lands, a little on the edge of the jungle. It kind of depends where you have to go for everything as you're following these, these tracks. Um, yeah. You would see these, these seem to be continually going along um, the, the lake that you can see. Um, I will say with that nature check that you're doing, you get the sense that, um, actually go ahead and make that nature check for me if you wanted to do there, Keen. 19. 19. Yeah. I would say you probably know within the anywhere from the next um, eight to twelve hours, it is it is probably going to rain. You see some clouds forming around. Uh, what's going to happen? Um, but you're not exactly sure what that is. Um, so, how are you guys making camp? If we're right on the edge of town, are there like houses or there buildings that we? Can you're on the edge of town. You're just on the north point of the lake. Yeah, there's still wilderness around us, so I think maybe the densest part of a, a tree. A farmer. Uh, let's see. Fire. So I got a bit, yeah. So I got just... like a blanket, so. Let's see. You guys slept while we were gone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did at least. Yeah. Yeah, I slept. So. Oh, my circadian rhythm is really off. Ooh. Yeah, so you so you all are where you see Raska Lake. You're just mm -hmm. at the north point there. You can kind of see Nicodranus uh there for you guys to give you guys a sense of of about kind of where where everything is. Okay. Um, so yeah, I still want to at least get some tree cover because if it's gonna be raining, that's gonna help us not get as drenched. Oh that's true. I mean, well, we're pretty close to Nicodranus at this point. It's still pretty ways off, though. Yeah, it's like, a few days. Yeah. Okay. It's a few okay. days. Hmm. So let's let's take it's a little. Done. Yeah. Let's take a knee. <laughs> okay. So yeah. how? Because we're, we're we're a little bit of different sleep cycles at this point, so I gotta keep track of this. Um, how is the watch going for this? I'll take the first watch for this. I'm a little. I can I can I can function with pretty little sleep anyway. So yeah, and you theoretically can't rest. That's true. Because you've yeah. already it would be too short of period. Of exactly. Time. Yeah. Um. So so that's fine. Is anyone? Um. I guess. So is it Skaha, Elanthor, and uh, Talvin all taking the watch together while the other three rest? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. In that case, uh. You, uh, you guys start to go to sleep. The three of you make a perception check for me. I'll have some form of dark. I'll cast guidance on myself. Good. 
Oh, wait. Should I do an 15. advantage yeah, because I have dark vision? I don't think it gives you advantage. It's it just not means advantage. you. Yeah. Can you, don't see. Get, you don't get disadvantage, is what. I, Let's see. Well, I only got an eight, so it's really That's a sad. 15 for a child. Okay. Uh, 17 for my uh, last dollar from past life to get, get up to 19. Okay. Um, did you watch that? Um, and Thor, I'm going to say that there is like this low growling that you're hearing from off in the distance. Um, and with you guys, you guys aren't resting, so you're like kind of active and um, I would say kind of oh, like the, the part that that's uh, probably the northmost of where you camp, the one that goes deeper into the jungle is kind of these deep guttural, at least one deep guttural growl. Um, and you see there, you just, that's 19, you see the outline of like a head and two like um, see what well, pretty massive head, like animal, animal looking, with with eyes that the fire like kind of just kind of glances off of that seems to be watching. Uh, does it look like in silhouette like the animal that I could possibly know about? Like, like a It started to tell from this. I mean, I would say that this is, the, you, you get more that it's a type of animal or it's a, I mean, you don't, you don't even know, you don't know if it's, if it's, if it's natural or magic or anything like that. Over 120 feet away? No, but it's, it's behind like bush and those, okay. if you get what I'm saying. So one, you, you wanted, you don't get color, right? Yeah. And then, and then you just get outlines on top of that. So I'd say you get with all, with all that, you, you, you get that there's something there. It's, it's pretty big, but as far as exactly what type with its, you know, with the way it's in the brush, you can't even make out its full form. I tap Calvin Skaha just over to the where I saw something big out there. Uh, oh, big. No. All right, as you guys begin to move, you can see it kind of notices you and kind of like ducks down and tries. You can kind of, it's kind of like as weird as you see its shape contrasting with the shape of like the leaves and stuff. And it's really difficult. Because again, there's no color uh, to make this out, so sometimes it's it's hard thing to. to I'm gonna really pop track. some torchlight glow sticks and cast light, and then I'm just gonna lob them to where oh. the lanthor may have seen them, just, just so I can get a good look at that. All right, it's moving around. Um, just make it. Just make a uh, essentially a, a, a thrown attack roll for me and see how that goes. Okay. Dexterity. That's good. Uh, it's 18. 18. Yeah. So that gets like right about where it is. Um, and it, for the briefest moment, lights and kind of the color comes in. And I would say you make out, um, at first you think maybe it's some type of, of, of just natural, like big cat. Mm -hmm. uh, and then as it falls, you get, the, you, there, there's two things that catch you is one, you see a tentacle. That's that's off its back, and you notice it also has six. I'm sorry, one more time. Has a tentacle that's coming off of its back, at least one that you make out, mm -hmm. and it has six legs. That is some Pandora shit. Oh, no. <laughs> this is. Uh, why do we always get the Lovecraft stuff? I love it though. <laughs> uh, and I would say with that, it's more startled and kind of. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of advance just a little bit so I'm like halfway between where I saw it and the group and okay. just kind of just play a little sentinel game, like a little bit of chicken, just go out there. All right. Make a perception check. It's a natural two plus four. Nope. Yeah, you see nothing. It just seems to be quiet. You don't hear anything. Um, even animal or like there's no more growl sound or anything like that. I mean, there's the, the snap of trigs, some, you know, nighttime birds, but whatever that was, you don't seem to hear it anymore. Keep an eye out, guys. We're not alone out here. Mm -hmm. They kind of re I return. Like this. No, this sucks. So you guys kind of take a 
a nervous watch at the at the end of this. Um, but eventually, I would say, yeah, we do get sunrise and everyone wakes naturally up. And there is no more uh, nervousness of this. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. We have none, but get up. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so you guys all gain the benefit of a long rest, um, which means that a uh, few of your spellcasters, you get to prepare different spells if you so desire. Uh, you get full HP, um, half of your max hit dice back uh, if you spent any. Okay. Where do I find that on the app? Uh, there should be a long rest button. Yeah, I did the long it's rest, the but as fireplace. far as the hit dice, tracking it should, the hit it, should, oh, it, yeah. it should do that if you expend it. Okay. All right. Um, so, um, Keen, what you see is you guys probably have a good, um, well, you have, a, you have at least an hour. You're not sure past that. Um, anywhere from one to two hours before... Uh, brain hits and a lot of the things you are following is are likely to not be around. Guys, there's a storm inbound. I don't want to be pushy, oh, but geez. oh yeah, won't be able absolutely. to follow the tracks much better in the rain. What's up for a good morning job? I hate the rain. We gotta go. So are you gonna Let's are you gonna take this at rain. a at a at a fast pace or normal pace? Um, I love a fast pace, actually. I would also like to go head. fast, um, and I just want to keep an eye out. I just want to be looking, listening, seeing if uh, till we get. The little wolf knows. Okay, so I say I'm going to let you track normal, but but at a fast pace, uh, perceptions. Uh, I think it's negative five. Um, so, um, or the DC is up essentially. So. Um, go ahead and make another to kind of get this last bit of it. Uh, let's make another uh, survival check, Keen, with advantage because you're being helped. I'm going to give you some guidance before you say anything. It's going to add a D4 to you. It won't matter. I got a boop, boop, boop. Let me roll a D4 real quick. Oh, it's a four, it's seven. Or no, that's nine, sorry. Nine total? Mm. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna say, um, I'm gonna say uh, for the purposes of this, you're able to follow it enough to know that it's going to stay outside of the jungle as it makes its way around uh, west to the, to, uh, the lake. And um, as you guys begin to get kind of, just as you're starting to clear, trying to get to the point where you've got kind of more clear, like um, I would say fields, grasslands, that type of thing. Not really fields, but sort of brush, but more like high grass. Um, and, uh, and, but you still have the jungle to your, to your right. Um, or to the east. Um, you lose the trail. Oh. Yeah. Guys, I, I, I don't, and I don't about this anything. time, it starts oh, raining so down. I, oh. <laughs> well, uh, the rain came a little early, guys. Um, but yes, is there any natural this shelter? Was two hours, you guys took. I mean, you can go into the jungle if you want, or you could continue to travel. Let's continue oh. at least. I don't want to feel like backtracking. Mm -hmm. They're just headed to Naked Run. All right, so we're moving on. Yeah. All right, Rouska, Rouska, instead of continue. carrying the axe, is carrying two javelins. All right. So you guys have a choice. So you can you can attempt to the best you can go through the grasslands and just try to hit where Nicodranus is, um, or you can go north, uh, kind of hugging the jungle and find um, the road. That you huh. know is there. Um, mm. uh, I do having a good oh. wide field of vision, so that we don't have any anything anything sneaking up on us. Um, 
I'm I'm gonna go with just staying in the grass. Okay. Yeah. Because you guys know that that's gonna be yeah. harder for you guys to maintain your direction as far as exactly where you want to go. Um, I see. Uh, because like now you're there's no mark where you're gonna go. Oh, it's that way, right? Because you kind of know that hey, if we hug the jungle, that and hit, we're gonna find a road. But the other way, you're just kind of headed generally west. Which means you'll probably get there, but you might kind of get to the shore and have to walk the shore or something along those lines. It's hard to know exactly. Yeah. I think we should hug the jungle. In the rain. And I don't know if we'll make it through. I don't know. I think we but take the road that we know. If we, we're not going, well, that's what, yeah, that's we're not what going she's in saying. the jungle. Hug the jungle and find the road. The side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, and let's, if let's... we hear anything sketchy, we go back to the grass. I agree with that. I can live with that. Yep. Let's go. Okay. Uh, so you're walking that way. What's, um, how are you guys traveling? What's, what's your formation? I um, want to be... uh, take a and go in the back, like back 20 feet. And I want to have a little talk with him. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stick Ooh. next to Keen. And uh, is there any kind of guidance on trying to get us to the road? I'll, I'll try and help him with that. Okay. I'll stand behind Talbot. I'll bring up the rear amongst the people that aren't breaking off to talk. Okay, so so it's kind of like the main group, but then there's this, this these two on the... Okay, cool. Keen, that makes you the front? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's Keen, uh, Talvin, Skaha. Skaha, and then Raska. Yeah, and then... And then Azrael and Lanthor are kind of back. Talk. All right, then uh, Elanthor and Azrael can have your conversation. Um, yeah, so I like kind of grab your arm and just walk really slow and I say, while we were pulling up to uh, with the boat to the beach, uh, I noticed something a little odd about you that you haven't shared with me, but um, and I'm like giving you an opportunity to jump in right there. Like, uh, is it? Can't hear you. Am I muted? There you go. There you go, man. Uh, was it the greenish skin? I kind of gave it away. Yeah, yeah, it did. I I study necromancy, so. Yeah, I kind of an act for these things. Yeah. Um, I don't really know how I got to play. We can't hear you super great. Yeah, you might want to fix that mic, buddy. <laughs> Is it better now? That's better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah definitely. You can maybe look at it. So I don't really know how I became this. Um, I was telling Talvin earlier when you guys were uh, bringing the kids back that about two months ago, I woke up, no memory, name, um, and that's how it's been since. Okay. Um, it's really it's really interesting for me. I I am invested in in learning more about this with you. Is there anything else you can tell me about your situation? Um. Well, as I told you back at the uh, hut, the warehouse. Um. When I woke up, um, it's really more in populated areas. I see faint glimpses of beings, if that makes sense. Like what, what like undead beings or like what, what kind of beings are we talking about? Ghosts, spirits, uh, they're not doing anything. They're Mostly as if they're living their normal life undisturbed, um, but 
Uh, no one regards them. Uh, as far as I know, I don't know if anyone else sees them. Did did you did you did you see anything at the the warehouse, the stone warehouse that we were in? Did I see what uh uh back at warehouse all that? You did not. No, I didn't. You didn't see anything. Okay. Um, I see my brother. He he died when when we were little and. I see him sometimes, and it was only it was only this this yesterday that he he t spoke to me for the first time, and I am just left with so many questions. I was hoping you could help out a little bit, but yeah, I'm at a loss for answers myself. You probably guess. Well. You know of any way that we can get some answers? Um, I mean, maybe I can take you back to the college with me, but uh, then I'm there with you, and I would appreciate if you let me in on on that journey. Of course. Hopefully, we'll find. If we do go up there. Um, I do have some inkling about my past in the empire. I woke up, I guess, in the area. Um, but I like that loose, loose thread. Well, I look forward to getting to know you more and uh, okay. <laughs> that with you. And then I kind of speed back up with the rest. Yeah. Of so, so as you as you kind of finish in this conversation, Azrael, you make out this six-legged, huge cat, um, oh, black, and what you would think as far as actually like this kind of like like kind of almost seal skin, these two tentacles, as it has kind of come out of the jungle and is rushing. Um, it succeeded against Aelanthor, but did not succeed against you and it's uh, against your passive. So you may roll initiative real quick here. Oh boy. Okay. Do I see I this? Got... No, you don't. I think that's it. You don't. Past your passive. Yeah. Sure. Anyone cool. getting like, you ever seen Avatar or like that six-legged cat thing yeah. that he gets? Boy, it's it's like that. What do you, do you mean, Princess Mononoke, when that thing crawls out of the forest? That's right. Well, no, 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 no. Like in... 21. 21, okay. So you get to act before. I'll find it. Um, <laughs> oh, let me just fucking... Okay, so I just see this, this beast run at me. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. It's charging. Um, I am going to yell really loud. And... Just book it the other way. I'm just gonna run away from it. I don't think I would have uh, this As soon as I hear her yell, can I just immediately cast my a blood maledict on it to try to well, trap it? Well, I would say that that it's gonna get a surprise. It's gonna get a surprise run on everybody except Azrael. So okay, go ahead, go ahead. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't. I would just book it. I would just run. As well. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Uh, Legit. I will say. Let me double check it. What is your speed? <laughs> My speed is 30 feet. 30 feet. Um, so you're able to get 60 away from it because I'm assuming you're action dashing uh, the way you're describing that. Um, it is going to get a attack on you. Ah, oh, shit. Um, so you see one of its tentacles kind of comes whoosh, tries to tries to get you at there. Um, and that will be a 21 to hit. That's a hit. Um, all right. And so there's two things that kind of happen. It, it, it knocks against you for six. And then on this kind of pad of the tentacle, there's these spikes that stick into your flesh, dealing an additional six piercing. So that's six bludgeoning and six piercing damage. Yikes. 
Oh god. <laughs> um it then is going to take its turn against Elanthor or Lanthor, um, in which the two tentacles are gonna come at you real quick here. No. Um, so first one is ten. So that's gonna go totally over your head. So you just see this tentacle like go past the back of your head as you see Azria run past you. Uh, <laughs> And then this next one, that's going to be a 21 to hit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was like nine and one. So it's 10 total damage uh, as that strikes you. Okay. Um, at this point, between her cry and she, and you guys aren't that far away. So you guys see her book pass you almost to the front of the line. <laughs> Sorry, see him. See, see, Azrael, you see he, he passes all of you. Mm-hmm. And uh, at this point, everyone may roll initiative. Oh, baby. But I do know 24. 20. Nice. Mm. Rouse back. <laughs> what, uh, what'd you get, I see it. I see it. Five. Five. <laughs> All right. Talvin. Uh, Talvin. <sighs> Sorry, I'm doing math. 19. 19. And then Elanthor, or Elanthor. Uh, 15. 15. So Elanthor, I have 15. Talvin, I've got 19. Skaha, I've got 20. Roska, I've got 5. Keen, I've got 14. Nezra, I've got 21. Is that correct? Yep. Wow, okay, cool. Okay, excellent. Um, Let's, get that. Let's go ahead and start this thing. All right, so... Let's, yeah, I'll say for this, let's get going. This. So let's, we're going to move over then. Um, about a process. And then throw, what'd you get for your initiative? Uh, uh, 15. It was when I throw in then Keen. Uh, I had 14. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, are we gonna see a little diorama? Oh, diorama. baby. Mm. Yes. I love these. Stop going. We got an aerial as always. So we're gonna have Razga, you got you've kind of been up the front there. Let's get this. Uh you're back here. Talvin, you were up with the group. Yeah. Sky, you were kind of chilling there as well. Um, you were here and you had moved up. So you're actually more like here, there. Um, and then Keen, you're up front like that. I believe that's everybody. Except, yep. Here we have the guy right there. E. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> right <there. laughs> well, let's so we can get a better visual there. Let's just move you up for the heck of it. Oh, uh, land floor. Deuces. <laughs> uh. <laughs> fucking dead now you'll be okay man you'll be okay all right so to give you guys just, uh, oh my my aerial camera fell that's not good well we'll, we'll, we'll be okay there then let's go back to that all right let's be good for this um okay so then up top of this is actually going to be Azrael. Yeah, I am going to cast a uh, false life on myself. Let's save some skin. Okay, so, so just I have goes eight. around, get this energy. Uh, anything else? Um, just keep running. 
for my movement. <laughs> I want to for your movement. So you go, you you continue running. Okay. So you're just like, I'm not even messing. Not the full 30 feet, probably, but probably like a good 10 or 15 more feet. Okay, so, so say you get all the way here. So yeah. Kind of, say you're looking back a little bit and uh, yeah. seeing what's yeah, going on. Yeah, and then I would. So, all right, perfect. Skaha. Um, I turn around and I pretty much scream, oh, God, a land door. And, and I was like, J like run. But I also um, like to, how far away is this cat from me? Like well, let's say feet, da, 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 about, about 20, 25 feet. feet. Yeah, 20, 25 feet. 25 feet from that distance i i can't really throw i can't throw anything i i'm not I, i'm not going to risk losing another dagger um but can i spot any soft spots on this cat because this cat looks pretty lean and muscly i mean make a perception check What? Oh, three. Never mind. Uh, this I, th is, I this thought is it scary. almost landed. Yeah, I would say, in fact, even even as you're looking okay. at it, it, it almost it's it's weird. It, it 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 makes it really hard. It almost looks like it's in a few places at once. So like when it's still, but as it's as it was kind of moving, it almost looked like it had maybe like twelve oh. or eighteen legs, and like things are moving. Like it's it doesn't seem to be all in one place all the time. Skittery. Okay. Uh, mm, okay, I think that'll end my turn, but I'm gonna ready my rapier because it's, I see that this thing is booking it. Ready it for what? If it runs past you? I don't you. know, I'm going to ready myself for, an, um, if it runs past me I or close to me, I wanna try and get a good stab. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. All right, Talvin. I'm just All right, hearing that commotion behind me, Talvin's going to go into soldier mode and just kind of spin around for the 180 and try and get 15 feet to it. So, kind of, so I may be kind of next to a Lanthor when I get there. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be 20 to be there. All right, that, that's, that, that'll that's be fine. Uh, and I hope this reaches. Uh, and then he's going to um, rub his hands together and kind of do his good Vegeta impression, put his hands out, and he's going to cast Burning Hands. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's Excellent. see. So that's a dex save of 12. Okay. Look at this thing, it might not work. Uh, that's 11. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, so full damage on that, 3d6. Let's see here. Seven points of flaming damage. Okay, so as you see, um, it, it doesn't get fully out of the way, but even with the fail, it actually seems to move out of a good portion of the damage. Okay. All right, and then that's that there. And that's gonna be my turn. All right, hey, Lanthor. All right, uh, I'm gonna spin around. Um, let me just check to see this. Um, no, because that could fuck us both up. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action uh, hex the thing. Um, disadvantage on, uh, give a dexterity checks. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna whack him with my sword. Uh, 19 to hit. Oh, uh, that hits. Cool, cool. So then... That is a D10 and a D6. Boop. Actually, I'm sorry. You're going to have a um, disadvantage on that. 
So that's a uh, 14. 14, it still hits. Cool. So you're able to go through and you actually kind of like look and it's hard to tell. It's like almost looks like it's in a few places at once and your swing just kind of goes through an illusion and then smacks it. All right, so that's um, 10 points of slashing and three points in necrotic. Okay, excellent, 15 total. All right, as you slice it down, it begins to bleed kind of this, like almost this um, like purplish blood kind of comes down inside. All right, uh, I'm just gonna prepare for an attack. Uh, for anything that comes my way. And that's my turn. All right, Keen. Um, am I within 30 feet of that? Uh, one, two, three. You are just within 30 feet, yeah. OK, so I'm just going to immediately turn around, mm -hmm. um, put my hand to my waist, cut my hand with my blade, my dagger, throw the blood out. Little snake's going to come out and slither across the floor. I'm going to cast my Blood Maledictive Binding. It's just a strength of 12. Strength save. 12. All right. Yeah, it's 15. Nope. So then I just... Um, Fists. With my 30 feet of movement, would I be able to get close enough, or are those two blocking me? Um, they'll let you move through their space. I like I'll let allies do that. So All right, I just want to get up close to Skaha then and then just take a shot from right there with my okay. action. Sure. Fifteen. That hits. And that is five damage. And so, Anthony, you actually, I'm sorry, you, you moved up because you were doing melee attack. Yeah, I did. You're, you're up there. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. And then it is its turn. Okay. So we got that. Um, it is going to disengage. Actually, kind of bolts uh, Alfin's here into the brush of the thick jungle. Huh. That was weird. Is it kind of of oh, boy. Okay. Man, I don't know uh, what's going on with my magic lately. Uh, so, Razga, it would be your turn. All right. So, I can't see where he is. Um, let me make a perception check. Yeah, Ra Razgaz famous for his perception. <laughs> Laser focus. Eh, could have been worse. 14. 14. Um, I check, yeah. Um, I would say you, you get the general idea that it is like you, you could, you know, it's probably say about 50 feet away from you in the jungle there, uh, kind of making its retreat. All right. Then, uh, what I'll do is first of all, as a bonus action, I would like to rage and then I'll move, uh, let me get around to where I'm standing, basically right in between Elanthor and Talvin. Okay. And I'm going to hold my uh, breath weapon attack in case he gets in range. Okay. And that'll end my turn. <laughs> All right, then that would be Azrael. Okay. Um, I will run up to the rest of the group. Okay. Um, the 
it. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been a big help. <laughs> slap him over the head. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So Gib slap. Yeah. So Scott, Talvin, Alan Thor, uh, Ian Thor, um, Keen, whatever you guys want to prepare or do. Um. Uh, I'm just filled with confusion because I'm so used to things following through and killing us. <laughs> if it see. gets within uh, 20 Can I make a away? perception check to, to see if I uh, to see him? Yeah. Do, do, do. Where is that at? Right here. I'm just going to cast Sanctuary on myself real quick. 15. Okay, sure. Sure. Um, 15. Uh, yeah, you, you see him. Um, I mean, he's, he's a good distance away. Uh, you can, you kind of see like the pieces of his body, like moving uh, away from you through the jungle. Um, seems to be, you know, trying to, seems that whatever it was trying to do, it quickly, um, thought twice about it. Seems, uh, it's leaving guys. How far away is it? Does it seem? I don't think that matters. I think we just need to book it as fast yeah. as we can. Yeah. I mean, from you, Ian Thor, it's about 40 feet. 40 feet? Just because I'm petty. Um, I'm going to cast Shatter on it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> Constitution. Let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm petty. I tried to keep it in place. 12. 12 fails. Okay. Let's go. 3d8 thunder. What kind of save was that, Con? Con. I gotta remember yeah. that. That's uh, 13 points of thunder damage. Okay. Yeah, so you just shatters and you hear this letter whimper uh, from the jungle. Um, I would say at this point, so that's that's basically back to its turn. Uh, it moves much further away. Uh, you can see it kind of going more and more away, and now it's going to be uh, Razga. All right. Uh, Razga's going to tell everybody to keep moving, and he's going to keep facing where the uh, creature ran to, but moving on down the road with everybody else. If they listen. Feet away. Um, it is would I even know what kind of creature we just fought? Just from looking at it and fighting it real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, there's a chance. So let's. I mean, why don't we just do a uh, survival check or nature? Your choice. Your survival or nature check for me. I'll take the survival. And I don't know anything. Eleven. Yeah. No. I would say um, you're you're not sure what that was. Oh. Is that a Fey Fiend or Undead? Fey Fiend or Undead? It is not. Okay. Is it within 60 feet? Not currently. Is it within 120 feet from me? Oh. <laughs> We're just going to dump it's everything just, in there. It would be just 120 feet from you. Oh, just black. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> What if we run into something so else? I want this. Well, that's at least a cantrip, that, man. So I will let that slide. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that is uh, an eight, so that probably doesn't hit. Uh, no, it does okay. not. Oh, this, he's a sniper <laughs> rifle and people. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot to. <laughs> what I add on hex damage for shatter? So I forgot to do that. Um, he wants yeah. the kill. I know. <laughs> Landor, <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Go ahead. He's thirsty. <laughs> That's an extra six necrotic damage shatter. Okay. All right. Take that, so kitty cat. Um. All right, and I would say with that check, you guys, it didn't look like overly, overly hurt, but it, it, it was. Uh, I would say because you did nature too, you get the idea. It was hunt. It's 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 in a hunting mode. And with the people breaking off from the pack is probably what provoked, or at least what it when it, when it chose to attack. I want it. Uh, I let throw, buddy. I think we just need to run right now. This this thing is not is not good. Let's just start moving around. And I'm gonna motion everybody to get in front of me and Razga. 
Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm yes, gonna sir. stand right next to Rosga and kind of hold his arm a little bit. I'm a little, a little afraid. <laughs> okay. Rosga switches back from his javelins to his two-handed axe. Sword never goes away. I'm just writing right next to Calvin. Okay, so you guys kind of keep a tight formation and, and move down the road. Um, Stay in yeah. front as usual. Yeah, yeah, I would say I've seen this formation. You don't see it doesn't seem to attack again. Um, and again, I think he kind of got this sense of it's um, kind of unique. Um, so I'm going to say with that, you guys would definitely have a few more days travel. Um, what would you guys like to accomplish for this? Is there, any, is there anything you guys wanted to do during your travel days? I think Talvin kind of just sticks to himself. He's really dead set on just having to get there as soon as possible. So you won't be really doing much for this traveling other than just okay. getting there. I guess. Rosga wants to pull Keen aside. Well. Okay. Rosga pull, pulls Keen aside. What's up, big fella? So, so uh, I killed you. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. Uh, just so you know, they had my mind. They had my mind. I know, if they friend. Take, if they take my mind again, kill me back. <laughs> Will do. No hard feelings. <sighs> this is not the first time a spell has fooled Rosga <laughs> swinging his axe. And he runs his finger down the scar. You bet it isn't. Uh, oh, shit. Says, when, when I was younger, my older brother cast a spell on an anvil and told me that it was a log and bet me that I couldn't cut the log with one swing. And strength is the only thing Rosga has. So I tried to break the log, hit the anvil, the axe came back, and that's where I got this scar. And that's why I keep my axe in such good shape. Because the next time I swing it under a spell, if it goes wrong, I want it to kill me. I want it to end the job. Rosgob was born to die. Hand I think on you your shoulder. for more than that. But we'll see. Yeah. Tell, tell my I'm not going to lie father. either. I honestly thought it was a lot cooler story than what you gave me. <laughs> I don't know if we should tell everybody that or if we yeah. should... You want me or, to keep that to I myself? Mean, Is that a secret? Great battle I'm not sure. Wound. Battle wound. No secret. No <laughs> secret. I will. I will. No tell great battle you a wound. Secret. I will tell you a secret. Was that secret, Rosga? Sometimes Rosga is spy. Shh. Then he walks away. <laughs> He's just. Oh. <laughs> All right. You're right. Awesome. Oh man! <laughs> All right. Um, I'll say if there's nothing else, um, you guys at this point, uh, the the crew here will will find the road, uh, and, and it's kind of more of a, of a well uh, fun path uh, for the most part. Um, and I'll say with this, let's do. We're gonna do a group survival check. Oh my poo poo. Ooh, a 20. <sighs> I'm not getting myself bad. Uh, oh. That's a four. 14. Seven. 20. I had it on one of my things. Ooh. A 20. Okay. Um, Honestly, with with that, you guys didn't do awesome, but you get the sense that somewhere, I mean, just from, just from, even I mean, it's rained, it's hard, um, but you do get the sense that um, this is likely where the, the wagon was headed at one point. And from here, it's hard to tell, but um, as you kind of find the road, you, you kind of see like, hey, something else big has made its way similar to the path of ours onto this road as well in the general area. 
Um, and this is the road to Nicodronus? Yeah, if you go the right direction, which you guys know. Um, and I would say for this, as you guys begin your travel um, and and move it, um, I'll ask you this, because um, we'll assume you guys are resting at, at regular intervals at this point. Um, what time do you guys aim to get to Nicodronus? Huh. Yeah, like sundown. I'd, yeah, I definitely would have liked to pit, uh, to pitch the idea of traveling at night more often. Yeah. So I know. let's I see. Agree with that. I have no problem working the night. Yeah, I'm fine with that. But just to make sure, so we like I got a long rest in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 I was very hurt. So yeah, I would. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe probably get there. Uh, middle of the night. Yeah, so you guys, you guys, from from this encounter with that beast, um, it was about we'll say it's about three days travel time that you, that it took you guys to do that. So you you've had long rests and, and moving along there, um, but um, but this is a road. Um, so I'll say a few things though that we do need to uh, actually before we totally arrive. Um, how have you guys decided to dress yourselves? based on what you found in the village to try to blend in um, to this non Jarhassian area. I would have stowed the uh, black and purple armor in one of the uh, saddlebags on Buddy if it had fit. And uh, if there was the standard leather armor uh, in the village, um, I would have that on. If not, then uh, I'm wearing like just bland clothing that I had on before. Okay. A little bit worn, but it doesn't look like Jorhasian. Okay, they have leather armor, so so you would be without your armor then as you're walking this last bit then. Yeah. Okay, so you don't have armor on. Uh, and uh, yeah. As part of uh, Roscoe's background, he has a set of fine clothes. So it's a white linen shirt and slacks. And a pair of sandals that, and it all just looks way too finely tailored for a barbarian dragonborn. Nice. <laughs> what uh, what background was that again? Uh, he may or may not be a spy oh, for the uh, uh, gritters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you got your. Uh... This is a secret. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, and the rest of the feature. Yeah, sure, yeah, you're, so, so yeah, you watch as Razgov pulls out some nice threads and gets them, just looks, and, and <laughs> looks way different, um, and even because it carry himself a little differently, like, like, kind of more straight back, more like, oh, I'm going to be around a different type of people. Um, it's kind of interesting. Um, Looking sharp, buddy. Um, not expense that. that. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Jorhas. All right, Why fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know I'm not going to get a better answer than that. <laughs> All right, Talbot, what are you? What are you? How, what are you doing? Um, I would have would have found the dingiest, roughed up kind of leathers I would find. I would have uh, taken off the scale mail that I've been treading around with, but I would keep my shield on my back. Um, get a poncho up with a hood and then had my hair kind of cover my face a bit and then kind of cover my face with some mud as much as I can, just so that my drow skin doesn't seem too, uh, easy to see. Okay. Let me go full predator mode. <laughs> okay. So try to make, be, be muddy as much as possible. Mm. And sorry to go backwards, but Rosgo was willing to answer the question. I just didn't have my notes ready. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're, you're good. I was just trying to remember. I don't know who you're talking about now. Just my yeah, he, wasn't, wasn't there. You don't have to be going in a one -two. I know what's up. Um, yeah, well, I was just going to tell Talvin that I was from the uh, Gallimaufry district of Jorhas, over by the Corona district, where all the goblins okay, yeah. live. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. Uh... Yeah. That part of town. I actually don't even have know what district I'm from, but I'm just let we'll just let that slide. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, All right. And I'm trying to find really quick. What is your holy symbol? For me? Yeah. Uh, it would have been um, just kind of um, 
it's a hollowed out dodecahedron that has in uh, on like a metal chain that kind of just goes it's an amulet right it's an amulet yeah. Yeah. cool um, Yu -Gi -Oh! yeah <laughs> <laughs> what are you where how are you wearing your symbol uh it would have been uh, i've buried it just around my neck right now like it, you keep it on your neck but it's just underneath your clothes yes yes okay perfect um asriel Got my khakis on. Uh, <laughs> I probably picked up a shirt from the village, like some graphic tee that says, This cat isn't afraid to scratch or something. <laughs> 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 wow. Wow. together wow. from the leaves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Bring and, it uh, and my rain boots, my classic rain boots. Oh, wow, shit. <laughs> yeah. What well, section of Hot Topic is that? <laughs> uh, that will be D23. I work at Hot Topic, by the way. Nice. nice. Oh. D23 um, and D12, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would have liked to comb my hair, though. Because it was very matted. So I want to cut it or brush it. Probably looking a little hacked right now. Okay. I want to point out that it Lancer's hair is like kind of pulled back, oh, but not like a bun. Okay, okay. Um, I would probably just have uh, I've seen one of you guys men before, right? Which one of you guys were the mender? I was. I may or may not have that prepared today. Would you be able to fix my clothes real quick? You just see that he just has a couple right. cuts from where All he's right. lit. So let's just let's just assume during the travels. Cool. Assume. Appreciate <laughs> that, and his sleeves just pull back up, and that's it. He doesn't really know anything about out here, so he's just. Okay. He doesn't know to get changed. You know what I mean? To him, this is regular. He just wants to stay low key. Yeah, I mean, you know, go. you know what I took. If I do, I took my scarf. Want, yeah, you don't want to look like you're from the dynasty. I just took the ends you're, of my scarf in because you're aware of that. I just don't um, want my blood hunter symbol to be seen. I just tuck it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd say ultimately what you guys understand is that the you would know this because prep. We are at war. You kind of know the general what what's going on. Is that the uh, ne Negrodrona specifically um, and the Empire? They have like the Empire partly polices Negrodronas, even though it's not part of the Empire. Right. So there are there are soldiers there, um, and so there's kind of like it's weird. Kind of both Empire and Clovis Concord laws apply, um, and it's a very strange ar ar arrangement because of the border. That it shares, um, where the rest of the Menagerie Coast doesn't operate like that, but Necrodonis does. Um, so then, uh, Scott. Okay. Disguise kit. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Give like, me like, hold on. You cannot rush perfection. <laughs> and, I'm, and I go behind some trees and I see this, like, I'm almost done. It's been like 30 minutes. I'm like, <laughs> it's like, it's fun. <laughs> I'm like working makeup and fixing my clothes and I come out, you guys see a little old lady. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice. I'm hunched over and I found like a stick and I'm just using it as a fake cane. <laughs> and I kind of hobble over. Let's go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that is fantastic. I think you overcommitted. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Um, so, so, so with that, you know what, Sky, I'm going to make you, you're going to make the check for the party here. So what I want you to do is, uh, uh, actually give me a disguise roll kit. So that should be, um, I should, I think that should be wisdom plus proficiency for you. Okay. Let's see. Should I roll? How should I roll this? Um, so you can roll a d20, and then you can add your you add two, and then add. Let me see. Look what Sky has. So um, it can be Dex actually, because I, I don't want this to be working for you. Um, I mean, I could do, really do you have an 18 plus two? That'll be a 20. Yeah, that another two. So 22. Yeah. So. Sky kind of gives you guys a few pointers. You suddenly realize the rest of you like. It's kind of like, yeah, let's sh like, like, like this little old lady Skaha, like straightens things and is in character the whole time. And you know, that's to be a pretty, Stop. pretty good. Pretty <laughs> Come good. on. 
<laughs> I love it. Can you ever you see play Avatar play? The Last Airbender? It's just like <laughs> Aang dresses himself up. Exactly. Yes. Tell you what I've done. Um, now, Scott, got late. Do you still, do you still <laughs> have your, your hat on, or is there something else going on? Um, I have a veil over myself. Okay, she did the veil, so the veil is is covering. Yeah, the hat so will got... make the veil weird, but it still hides. Mm-hmm. Rosga turns to everybody and says, "Tieflings keep appearing and disappearing." <laughs> They're, They're really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I tap them on the shoulder and say, "They sure do, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> they had this many, and then this many. And now this many. All right. Um, <laughs> so you guys approach Nicodranus. Uh, the road goes goes around um, and actually kind of meets to where you could kind of take the road and, and skip and go north, which would be towards the Empire, but it kind of um, and, and through the mountains. But you take it just south um, and you come upon the main Nicodranus gate. Or at least you can't. So you guys going to try to go through the gate or another means? Uh, well, you got a little old lady up here. Yeah. I feel like the gate, yeah. We don't want to be too suspicious with this. Mm-hmm. I think we look good. You look good, right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. I look at you, cut. I'm like, Clean sure. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, you look fine. Just channel my Daryl Dixon for me real the quick. The 15-year-old <laughs> just turned into an old woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, cool. Oh wait, Azrael, take my hand. You can be like <laughs> my my son or something. Escort the yeah, guy. I just stand. Like, I just stand behind her, her like I'm walking my grandma with him. This one came. Like, just play the. All your like lump your bag. No, Azrael looks more like me. Like, no, I'll just pass it by. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You can be my grandma for the next little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. I'm sorry. So you guys get to the gate, the gate, and you see two soldiers there, um, dressed up. You guys recognize them as righteous brands um, are on on the gate there. Um, and some of you guys realize there's pieces of their armor that look actually a little similar to Ilanthor's um, here and there, and so like little pieces, um, at least what he usually wore. He's not wearing currently, um, but they are they're there. They they kind of see you guys a little off in the distance, stop you about 20, 30 feet away. Uh, like, halt! What is your business here? Uh, I hop off, buddy, uh, and I take like a step forward, not getting too close to them. It's like, hi. Um, we're coming down from uh, from inside the empire. Um, we're here traveling. Um, we're uh, transporting our uh, dear friend grandmother uh, to the coast. Uh, She's always wanted to see uh, this beautiful city. Um, so we're just fulfilling a lifelong dream for her. Yeah, ever since I was a young boy, she would talk about the gray land of Nicodronus. Trying to help him out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I look at the guards and I kind of want to look like, oh, handsome young man. You're going to lift the gate. I've wanted to see the shore for so long. These people are just helping me. Okay. So I'm going to say they full on, because you were checked before, believe you are an orderly grandma. Um, but Azra, I do need a deception check as you disguise your accent. Twelve. Twelve. Don't worry, I have an idea if this worked out. Yeah, I do too. It's called attack. No. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen. Order. All right. So what I'm going to say is that um, they they do end up they're suspicious, um, but Elder, you did really good. So what what we're going to do is you were, I'd say that you're going to get a straight roll for this, uh, just straight up persuasion. Okay. Um, because I'm going to say that this just it's the because of the rose before this is more just convincing them to let you in at night because they kind of buy they buy what's going on so oh. they just need to be they're not really supposed to let anybody in yeah that's a uh that's a 21 okay so they go, uh, 
yes, uh, we, it is late. We hope you can find somewhere. And they and they begin to let uh, all uh, of you in. As they pass, uh, leaving bodies, say, do you by chance uh, recommend nice a place to stay? Some place nice, cozy, comfy? Uh, my bones are aching, Gas. Where's the nearest um, inn? We, uh, we stay in a garage. We've been here maybe a few days. I do not know. Um, tell them being honest. They're just kind of not, not really aware of these particular two are kind of oh, new. Jimmy, I think we'll be okay. Um, well, your, is he? Um, you your grandmother. <laughs> Come along, <laughs> old woman. I guess at this point, um, I attempt to help Scott up onto the horse. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh buddy, moving through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, belly, put me on, buddy. So yeah, and again, you guys have kind of made your your you, you traveling. So this is kind of actually beginning of the day for all of you, uh, though it is night for everybody else. Um, you come up across, and this is this vast oceanside city uh, that is Nicodranus. Um, and there are multi-tiered buildings. Uh, the ocean breezes come in. You have the sweet smell of salt. Um, you can even taste it on on uh, on your tongue. And there's even like um, you can tell like they, there's there's preparations for tomorrow morning. There's people making like eel pies, and um, hmm. just all all the scents are are just kind of intoxicating. There um, it is is a great deal. Um, what do you guys want to do? Fish, Shit. Fish, I didn't think fish. we'd get this far. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what time of day is it? It's night. night um, it's kind of started the start of, of night for the most part. Is there anyone like out on the street right now? Or? I mean, there's various people. Yeah, I mean, there's people okay. walking around. Food stalls out here? Presumably. Uh, is that what you got? Are you guys looking for food, or what do you guys want to look for? Well, I, I, I want to look can, for some food. Let's look for some food. Do you have a name? I don't think you had his name of, of someone you could try to look for, if you remember from before. But yeah, I have that name here. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, sir, I, uh, I stopped someone. Uh, I was like, uh, do you know where the Lily Longboat is, uh, by chance? Um, yes, you're able to stop uh, someone. They're kind of... They look sort of local, um, kind of um, t more tannish skin. Um, gonna go. Um, oh, yeah. um, yes, of course. Uh, there are um, goes. That would be up in the uh, the noble district. Um, kind of looks you guys over and is like, I hope you have enough money. Is is kind of. Oh, but but yeah, it's kind of. I have money. Points up, um, oh, give you guys a look. And then actually sees Razga and goes, oh, sir, maybe. Oh, I'm so sorry, I did not see you there. But yes, um, you may find it. Uh, and gives you, gives you some good direction. Go, um, yeah, this is the finest flowers. Um, or, well, maybe not so fine anymore, right? Right? Yes. Um, right. And you can tell as is, is, is they, they laugh and... Uh, so they're kind of making a private joke about the Lily Longboat uh, with his companion, a uh, female companion as well. All right, Roscoe goes, ha, ha, thank you, friend. Pats him on the shoulder and turns to everybody else who goes. Uh, before we uh, part ways. Uh, same mood I'm in. <laughs> uh, do you by chance uh, know of a good place to rest for the night? Uh, cozy, quiet, calm, or... Um, there's good. many places. My bones hurt. Um, we'll be fine. Uh, what are you looking for? Well, um, there's some place, some place nice to rest for the for the night. Um, doesn't really. A pub would be a good start. What he said. What? A pub. A pub. A tavern. Um, he, says, uh, he goes. Uh, well, you were looking for the vo you were looking for uh, the Lee Longboat uh, in that district. Uh, there is the Vogue Rogue. Vogue Rogue. Thank you. Vogue Rogue. Thank you. I just stop up and I say, where do uh, the more questionable folk hang out? <laughs> Not get ahead of ourselves, oh, okay. 
very forward about this. Like, where are the unsavory uh, types? <laughs> well, I want to keep away from that part. In, only yeah, I wish to keep away from that part. Okay. I need to... <laughs> um, goes, um, uh, doesn't quite know what to say. Um, but kind of says, uh, closer to the docks, I'm sure, and grabs his female companion and just starts to walk away. <laughs> Not exactly sure what's yeah, it say. Have a good that. night. And then Rosga, Rosga turns to the group and says, "If we find a tavern, I'll find lodging." I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, all the big guys. I turned to Keen and I was like, "Come on, man! I was doing so well." <laughs> you got to be more direct. We I'm just train. trying to find us like <laughs> some place know, like why low, but we know where we know where the lady long. Where the lady what are we looking for to sleep, in. anyways? Didn't we just sleep? You did. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what are we looking for lodge for right now? Summer, man, plus, what are we going to do? Get used to the day? night cycles, okay? We're, we're, we're night. I'm a vampire, basically. Yeah, we have to spot. We have to do this. <laughs> I just want towards where I think. I'm, I'm from Jorhas. It's always dark. <laughs> <laughs> big guy, big guy. This is a secret. Yeah, so shut the fuck up. You oh. get the sense that no one heard that. <laughs> Like, you know what I would love right now? Mm. All these smells remind me of Yuyando. This, I love Yuyando. I haven't had scum in years. It's been so long. Look at all these food food stalls. Um, hell yeah. Yuyando is my favorite food too. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> like what grandma high five his grandson. <laughs> is that a tiefling thing? I mean, she's my grandma. Was that insensitive? For me when I was young. <laughs> I, I made it for my grandson when we were... Uh, we so I say it's early evening now, so you guys would probably... I mean, it's up to you. Um, you think that maybe some stores would maybe just start the closing process. They might not be totally closed right now. Um, so it's where... How you guys want to investigate, what you guys want to take your next steps as. Uh, well... I, mean, I want to go face the uh, Lily Longbow before, like, either before or after it closes. Yeah, let's okay. go there. All right. Um, Roska. Let me look at you here. Uh, so, it probably takes about 20 minutes as you guys begin making it into that. Um, district and then um, yeah um so you, you guys um sorry as you make your way through there, again, this, it's actually surprising is this a much busy district. Uh, there's actually a lot of kind of last minute shopping going around. And there is, um, as you're kind of taking in again, all the smells of the food, you don't smell any of your own there, there um, as that is Joe Hostian. Um, but there are other things uh, that that's around. Um, this, the ingredients just don't really get over to this area too much. Maybe you'd find better luck at the docks, but up here, definitely uh, not so much. But um, you do see these three beautiful um, creatures uh, come up. Uh, it looks like at least uh, one biological male and two biological females. And they've got these little fans and they kind of eye all of you and they particularly kind of eye um, Razga with this like flirtatious smile, all three of them. Um, as they kind of like kind of fan themselves and make their way uh, quickly away. And they do have um, these, these, these kind of um, interesting bags uh, that, seem to, that, that are cloth, but they're woven. You're looking like kind of like shopping bags that uh, have um, kind of this almost like golden thread that makes uh, two letters, uh, G and B in common. Um, as they begin to uh, make their way away from you. Getting like wannabe sugar baby vibes from <laughs> these people. They wear Gucci um, all the time. <laughs> and you see that there's actually like different like 
flyers uh, kind of work going around the, in, in, the, uh, in the breeze here. And one kind of smacks you, Raska, right in the face um, as you pull it out. And uh, it reads in kind of this really like big calligraphy uh, font that uh, says, uh, just says, looking for a boon, might as well make it glint boons. 50% off last season's supply. Hmm. I already got Someone it. read this. <laughs> <laughs> Do it here. Take it from out. 50% like off a, sale. I think off it's like clothing. What though? Uh, they just it mm. just says last season like supplies or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's like fifty percent off supplies. Maybe Let's they check have it out. like maybe always like a good deal. Do you guys know what a glint boon is? Well, a boon is, means sort of um, a trade, but a glint yeah. means a shiny. Like a sh as in trade, they might be saying money for things, and a glint is like shiny. All right, let's so go. So they have shiny, fifty percent off things. I'm just yeah. trying to use my vocabulary, my big brain. <laughs> Someone, an average Joe like Talbot, would never have. <laughs> The average Joe oh, doesn't really you. care about glinty things right now. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's up to you, you guys care can, uh, for glinty you guys things that will help you. You can continue making your everything way I need. The uh, Lily Longboat, or you can stop by Glint Boon. It's up to you. I want to take the, the flyer. And I'm interested in Glint Boon. Then, All right. uh, if everyone stops over at Glint Boons, I'm just going to keep going to the uh, Lily Longboat because I just want to get a feel for it before we head okay. in. Um, Sam. We, all right. So, if you're looking for glimpses, I need you to make an investigation check because you guys don't know where it is. Yeah, are I was you? gonna go ask the the attractive men looking at Rosga. <laughs> oh, sure, sure, sure. I think I'm back at you. Kind of. Anyone? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so 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 we split the party at this point. So some of you go. Uh, who's going to glimpses? Okay. Asy. Oh. Maybe we can get a senior uh, discount. Uh -huh. All make their way. Um, and you see there's this uh, beautiful um, storefront that's all glass. Uh, and above it, there's a giant GB. And you start to notice that there is no, um, on any of these stores, there doesn't seem to be any signage, but more like artistic impressions. And so even the G and the B is probably the least artistic here. Um, and you see there's like uh, rows and rows of um, shelving and all the shelving seems to have different, uh, all uniform sizes of um, bottles, uh, mostly glass, some metallic, uh, and they're all stopped up. And, and, and there's, as you can see, there's different people going in and out. And um, as you kind of look through the window, you see people dress very finely that you're assuming are shopkeepers. And they are, um, you, you, you think you see almost every race you can think of. You even see like a kobold running around in there, but it is the hottest kobold you've ever seen. Um, they're just, all of them are looking really beautiful and gorgeous, almost in an ethereal way uh, as you are watching everybody in there. Um, when they're in Talvin, you approach and you finally see this shop that um, has a long boat that's like raised up on platforms around it with lilies growing out of it. Um, hmm. And all around this shop is um, different types of flowers. And you notice right away that there are some that are definitely out of season, but are growing beautifully. And so it just seems like um, even like Arctic flowers and some that should only be from a deep, deep like where, where, where it's much warmer and different climates and they, they shouldn't survive, but they're all growing um, well. And there's even some that look like more rainbow-esque and there seems to be like bits of color that float above them. It's this really beautiful uh, display. Uh, is the door uh, locked or open? Um, it is slightly open enough for it for you. Um, oh. Like, I mean, it looks like it's an open store. I would say. I would okay, say. Uh, so I push into the store. And I'll um, follow him. Yeah, the two of you walk in. Um, I think looking at you're looking, and there is 
uh, this half orc uh, standing there. Um, this is a, Oi! Oh, welcome uh, to the Lily Longboat. My name is Rose. How may I help you? Rose, yes. We've been, uh, we've been traveling for such a long, long time, and we've heard such fine repute that this establishment has. Um, we actually know you by name, and we're having to have a word with you. Do you mind if we uh, just have a couple of minutes of your time? I'd nudge uh, Talbot and Talbathly and tell him uh, to slyly show the dodecahedron. I, I know what I'm doing. Um, she go I'm busy. I can't look at my pose. I can't leave my pose. I think you can spare us just a little more time, and I do. Okay, her eyes drop that. Wide. Um, at this and kind of looks over her shoulder to like you see that she's unaccounted but there's like a back room behind her and she's like oh the adventurers that were supposed to come fantastic you why don't you have a seat over here and it's very loud and kind of insane and and begins to give you like little water with lemon um <laughs> I, I just awkwardly pulled and as you guys sit there and the rest of you kind of look at this beautiful shop where some people are window shopping for product and possibly just to get a good look at a few of the people who work there, uh, we will end for tonight. All right. Uh, and pick up at the stores. Shopping episode, guys. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm not going to lie. I'm scared of that store. <laughs> I've never oh, had a, I've never had a cobalt make it move, you know. <laughs> no, clean move move. I came here for fancy bottles. <laughs> oh my god! Um, but Sorry. yeah, um, yeah. So tonight, I mean, I, I kind of thought it would be. It's probably more. It was a little bit more of a development uh, session. Um, but but next yeah. week should should uh, there's, there's more to uncover. So I uh, can you're here um but i'm gonna end so thank all you guys for watching um if you guys are interested in playing more games we um i've actually got games running uh wednesday thursday friday and saturday if you want to check on if you guys are interested but all that we're gonna say goodbye and thanks peace hope y'all enjoy